What's up, podcast people? Who can such a podcast with a 57? Back in another podcast. We're missing somebody today. Uh, Jay Smooth. We're missing him today. Mm-hmm. It'll be, it's just going to be a three-man pod, but that's all right. We'll just uh, we'll have to do it without him. We're, I guess we're the big three. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you, I'm yeah, Mario Summers apparently. I don't know. No, no, we're a big three, so like you, we can't be Miami's big three anymore. We okay. have to be a different big three. What big he's three? A, like? He's an unserious podcaster, man. Unserious. <laughs> yeah, nah, he's he's getting some pussy right now, bro. Come on now. <laughs> some bitches. You feel me? Some that we all know Darius can't do. Uh, bro, pod, I, might, I, might, I honestly want to cut crazy. out every time you say I'm gonna like do a counter for every time you say that. <laughs> now at the end of the year, we're gonna get like a or no, not end of the year, but one day we're gonna get like a compilation of me just saying, Man, bitches, you get no bitches, you get no bitches, you know, over and over. <laughs> uh but yeah, I mean, this episode we got some topics, a lot of topics, you know, some niggas is just injury prone as fuck, and some niggas are COVID prone as fuck, so we got a lot of shit to talk about. Uh, but how y'all been? You know, Spider-Man just dropped. Yeah, I guess we, we, hey, can, we can make that main fact. topic. To everybody out there, let me just keep it real with y'all. I'm going to put a timestamp down below if you haven't seen it, but you haven't seen it, you're just, you're. I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> you're, you're missing fact. out. <laughs> hey, some people have lies, bro. What you mean? Come on. I mean, yeah, but like, how many days has it been since it dropped? Like, four or five days? It's been I mean, four days. It yeah. dropped like Thursday. Been, yeah. So oh, oh well, I guess yeah. In that case, five. Yeah, it's been a while. So if you haven't seen it, then you're missing out. But might as well talk about it. Hey, Andrew Garfield, the MVP. 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 Yeah, he is. I, I, the, I, was, I, I would one. say this. Like I rewatched the all the films. I would say, if we're talking solely Spider Man, just like playing, like, not Peter Parker, just Spider Man. Like he's the most fun to watch easily. I think he's the most fun. Like he, he embraces the role the best. I think. Out of yeah. Three. I, yeah. Bro, yo, when he said his name, I was like, oh, that nigga tall as shit. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I think he's he like, was, bro, he, six, bro, six something. And it's crazy because like, two out of the three Spider Men are British. I swear these British niggas, they oh, they no, get into five, these ten. roles. He's five five ten. ten. Yeah, I didn't. I thought Andrew I think Garfield's five one. ten. He does not look five ten yeah. to me. He didn't look five ten when I when I saw him. It's because Toby oh, when is they, short. When they were standing in the lab, bro, he looked like he was like a foot taller than him, bro. I know. Yeah, but think about it. All of them are. I don't. I don't know how tall is Toby. Look up how tall Toby is. But Tom Holland is kind of short, right? Toby is five He's not seven. That tall. But yeah, they're short, so that's why. <laughs> and like you know, they're not going to shoot it in a way where these dudes look like midgets. You know. Yeah. What I'm saying? So they're, they're going to shoot it. In I don't know. They Tom. Tom, de- Tom definitely looks. Smaller in his even in his Spider Man suit, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think the thing with Tom is that uh, the problem that I think a lot of people had is that he looked like, or his character was like Iron Iron Man's protege type shit. And now that I look at like the ending of how Spider Man was, like the whole like Spider Man trilogy was his origin story. Now that I think about it, like that's his origin story. Like we didn't have to see Uncle Ben get capped off like for the third time. We saw Aunt May get capped instead, which I'm sure nobody saw coming. I didn't see yeah, that. Nobody my, saw no, that no. my guess this was her or Happy for sure. Yeah, her or Happy, that was my guess for sure. I mean, I don't, I don't because when you when you think about it, like when you think about it, they were talking about there's gonna be some emotional scenes. I was like, all right, someone obviously dies. You got to think about it, <laughs> and I don't, I didn't think it was gonna be Ned or MJ. So my two guesses was Happy or. Cause I, cause I guess you could consider Happy like his Uncle Ben type figure. So mm-hmm. that's that's I why mean, I would assume it was gonna be Happy I, I, or I, I don't I don't think Happy is his Uncle Ben. I think his Uncle Ben at first. That's why a lot of niggas didn't like it. Like I thought Uncle Ben at first was Iron Man. That's why I thought like they were kind of pushing. But then like when Iron Man died, he died in a, a not even in the Spider Man movie. And then in Far From Home, he was like, oh, everywhere I go, I see him. I was like, yeah. so are they really gonna make this nigga his Uncle Ben? Is that that's kind of lame. And then uh, May just dies in far in a uh, no way home. Like what? And then she said when she said that great power, great responsibility. I was like, oh my gosh, she's really about to die. Because <laughs> like yeah. only the people yeah, that bro. say that that's, they that's all the die. Kiss of death. That's the kiss, <laughs> death. The kiss of death. <laughs> there was this crazy theory I watched after the movie. It was like um, it was this video. I think it was by Cosmo Variety Hour. Um, oh yeah, yeah, y'all know him. I, I really like his videos, but um, he he had this like uh, good theory like. This like all these three movies are like his or actually like his own origin story, <laughs> like yeah, I think it is. It might be. I, think it I, is. I actually, I actually agree, bro. Yeah, there's no. And Uncle if you ben. notice, there actually might have not be. Seen, Uncle ben. 
Have y'all seen um who's played the Spider Man? I know you've played Darius. Have you played the Spider Man game, Bino? The 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 Miles Morales one? No, not the Miles. Not the Miles. No, 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 I played yeah, I played the other one, yeah. yeah that one, if y'all noticed, like they kind of did like a homage to the game at the end when yeah, Peter had his own. Did. Suit I thought and about shit. it. I'm watching yeah. the movie, I was like, wow. That reminds me that reminds me of the fucking game I played three years ago. <laughs> yeah. So, so like I like how like now like he's actually the actual Spider-Man. He's actually like because nobody knows his identity. Now that's why I don't think he's gonna leave the MCU because now you can actually tell real Spider-Man stories. Like like we're probably gonna see Harry. We're probably because people were waiting for Harry Osborne. He's probably gonna show up. Yeah. When Stacy's probably gonna show up. You know? They they might they might uh, I rumor has it Flash could become Venom or they mm. they, they could even make their own Eddie Brock honestly and they they not could. even not even use the the normal Venom Eddie I Brock. Think, There's I, a lot of different ways that they could go with this. I, I think the Venom from the Sony movies and Tom Holland are going to meet. I think it's just bound. It, there's no way. Think so? Yeah, I I think like it, it just has to happen. Those two actors, I think they've been like kind of like. Um, rumoring it in a way uh i don't know i i, I mean we, that could happen but like let's be honest like there have been so many times that we've wanted stuff like that to happen like remember uh hugh jackman right so yeah. many people wanted hugh jackman to come to the mcu for, for so long and that shit was just i would have loved for that to happen but it's now it's never gonna happen like now it's over like unless he comes back which i don't think well technically I, uh, yeah, it's, not out, it's not out the realm of possibility but technically wolverine's dead so yeah, it true. would have it would have to be like a past version of him. Okay. But yeah, but there there are reports that are saying after how good No Way Home has done that they're starting to like add other cameos in the Doctor Strange movie. So I'm excited for that shit. Oh, Doctor Strange, that shit is that's gonna be crazy. That's yeah. gonna be crazy. I ain't gonna lie though. The one thing about Spider Man before we move on though, the one thing about Spider Man that I didn't really like, and like that's why when people say it's like a perfect movie. At first, I thought it was but the beginning of how they get to where they're gonna get is kind of like slow. confusing. No, well, it is kind of slow, but it's confusing. Like you're telling me, like Peter, they made Peter look stupid, and they made Doctor Strange look like immature. Like, so you're telling me these none of them thought of a hey, like just go talk to them, you know, <laughs> see if you can like convince them, like because you are Spider Man, you know, what I'm saying like you can convince them somehow. You know, and like you got all these connections. Like, you're telling me that you didn't find any other way to get into school. Like, hey, just tell Iron Man's wife to cut the check to one of these schools, and you get in. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of ways he could have got in school. Like, oh, it's like, a movie. It's a movie, dog. Come on. I know, I know, but like, it just, it just felt like he just gave up too easily, in my opinion. Like, dude, you are Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Maybe you could pay a villain to go. I don't know. Threaten these niggas. I don't know, bro. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta save them? Yo, that's fucked. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but after they get that shit situated and the shit just takes off, my theater went crazy, bro. They went crazy. With yeah, niggas. I watched it. I watched it first night. My theater definitely went crazy. I, my theater didn't the really second go time crazy. I watched it, though, my they didn't go was crazy. so dead. No, I didn't. Well, I, so I, I'll, like the most we ever did was like clap when Toby and Andrew showed up. That was it. That I ain't gonna it. lie though. And, and Daredevil. I, yeah. I did. Oh, Daredevil. That that cameo. Yeah. Took me all by by surprise a little bit because I I heard the rumors, but like when it happened, I was like, oh, forgot Daredevil rumors were yeah in this movie. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't expect him to be in that whole long. My God, DeAndre Aiden can catch a lob anywhere, but. <laughs> You know, I, I didn't expect that shit to to happen because I forgot about it. Um, yeah, yeah. Also, when I see when I seen that nigga, <laughs> the person I was with was like, "Who the fuck is that?" Which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though. Uh, when when Andrew caught MJ, man, the, the, the emotions, the the emotions, bro. Because everybody was like, "Oh man, man did die like that." <laughs> it's kind of tough. Hey, it's a re- nah, but- it's redemption, bro. Real redemption, honestly. Uh, but bro, yeah, it was a great when movie. Peter, bro, when Peter was fucking up the Green Goblin on Captain America Shield, bro. <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie. Willem Dafoe is one of the greatest actors of our generation, bro. He's yeah. in my opinion, my opinion, he's the best Spider-Man villain. Like, hands down. Like, not even gonna lie. 
Like, like, yeah. like, I think if you put all his performances together, I think he now, like, some people will say before it was Doc Ock, like, because Spider-Man 2, people, people would say, is the best Spider-Man movie, besides mm-hmm. in the universe. But nah, bro. Yeah, actually, I can't lie. Info, I bro, he's, he's number one, bro. It might not even be has... close. It might not even be close, like, when you compare it to all the Spider-Man. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not close. I will say, I think the one thing that hurts the MCU Spider-Man villains is that they're all connected to Iron Man. You know, like, yeah, like that's the one that. thing. It just annoys me. Vulture, like, what? Uh, fucking, what's the, uh, Mysterio. Mysterio. They're just too connected to Iron Man. Everything got to be about fucking Iron Man. And it was annoying. To me. I didn't, yeah, like, I didn't that. like that. And, like, I feel like if those movies found a way to make Peter, like, his own character and not, like, an offspring of Spider-Man, like, it would have been perfect. And that's why No Way Home, it distanced itself from Iron Man. Like, I don't even think we mentioned Iron Man, like, they mentioned Iron Man like no, I don't they, they they literally they literally did it. I don't even like yeah. even at that yeah. end, the only the only reference you got to to Iron Man in the movie was when he they were at Aunt May's uh Aunt May's fucking tombstone or whatever. Oh, and yeah, he, and, and then and then Happy was like, I had a friend, I lost a friend who I was close to or whatever. That's the, the only world, time he was mentioned. The world knows Spider Man though, right? Yeah, yeah, they know Spider. So like. Do the Avengers know, which I don't even know if the Avengers still exist in the MCU, but do the Avengers know that Spider-Man, like, like, do they know, did they have recollection of Spider-Man and not Peter? Like, how does that work? Because, like, they, they fought with Spider-Man. I have. So do those memories not count? Or What, what I've I seen, what I've seen people saying, you know, you can't tr- always trust the internet, though, but it was like, it's basically just, like, losing parts of your memory type shit. So mm. I know Doctor Strange didn't give a fuck that he forgot that nigga. <laughs> He's like, Doctor thank God. <laughs> thank yeah. God. Doctor Strange, I know he's just thinking to himself, like, so long, bitch. Like, fuck <laughs> Like he does not put me, put like, me through all this hell, nigga. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie. When he outsmarted this nigga with geometry, that was one of the t- I know Doctor Strange was embarrassed in the mirror dimension, just sitting there mm-hmm. waiting. What was it like 12 hours? 12 hours for the at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I know he was just angry waiting for that web to dissolve and shit. Didn't even have his uh thing to open the portal. That was tough. That was real tough. But it's he a great movie, everybody. Yeah. I would say nine out of ten, nine and a half out of ten. I wouldn't say it's a ten out of ten. I don't really think it's fair to even rate movies like this because it's it's kind of like Endgame. It's kind of like it's fan service. It's it's fan service. Yeah, yeah. I think honestly, the only Marvel movie I could say is a perfect movie might be is like. War. Infinity War and like Logan, I'd probably say those oh, movies yeah, are probably. Yeah, Logan was those. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Logan is like emotional. I would say Logan, <laughs> very emotional. Logan and uh, I have I have not seen Logan. Damn, bro, you gotta see that. You gotta see that movie, bro. I'm not that even is... an X Men fan like that, but I, I'm not either. I think the X Men movies are kind of boosted, to be honest. I don't think I don't really they're... hear them talk, but people talk about them like that though. People love the X Men. Like that's one of the most popular you know, like the movies. Franchise. Yeah, that's one of my, Days of Future Past, Apocalypse. All I don't really those. hear people talk about it. I know I have like one friend that talks about it a lot, but besides, I never hear anybody of my friends with any of my friends talk about it at all. So, no, nah, I know I know a couple X Men fans. It's just I just feel like though, what the Doctor Dre, dude, Doctor Dre's in a is this a GTA game? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's a uh, he's in the. That new uh, Franklin <laughs> DLC, <laughs> bro. That shit threw me. I was like, "What is Doctor Strange doing in that? as a video game character right now?" Said Doctor Strange, <laughs> or not Doctor Strange, Doctor Dre. I was like, "What is he doing here?" You see, I I just got cut off. I was like, "I'm, I'm sorry, guys. That shit threw me off." No, nah, uh, that movie. But, uh, I would I wouldn't say it's perfect. Like people were saying, it's like the greatest movie, like Spider Man, not Spider Man, the greatest Marvel movie or superhero movie of all time. I would say it's top three, top I five, maybe. I think it's like you're talking Marvel or MCU. I think just like I'm talking about superhero movies in general. Actually, to be honest, oh no, 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 it's not better than Dark Knight. It's I, not better than Logan. Logan yeah, it ain't even. Be- I don't think it's. Better I don't than even Spider-verse. know if it's better than Infinity War. I don't think it's better than Spider Verse, in my opinion. But. I don't know. I've heard some people. I honestly think I'm still living off of like that first watch, and I feel like if I rewatch it, Spider Verse. Like, I might change my no 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 the, uh, uh no, it was the no I watched it again and that shit was still good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit was 
Yes, bro. I think I might go see with my family like next week, bro. Because I, I really want now. Now that I know what happens, you kind of look for like the little details or like you or like I was just really like the fight scene, bro. I'm telling you, when they were fight, when he was fighting the Green Goblin in the apartment, I felt like I was there. Like I was like, (laughs) 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 but I do think that there are there are times that like, like the first time you watch something, it is the best time you watch it. Like Endgame. Endgame, the first time I watched it was the best that, time I watched it. And like if I go back and watch Endgame like on the same Disney experience. Plus, it's not it the ain't same. the same at all. Like I start I, I I really feel the three hours when I watched and I felt it when I watched it originally, but it didn't feel like so long. But if I go on Disney Plus and I, I'm like looking for something to watch and I see Endgame, I'm like, oh, do I really want to watch a three hour movie Fuck right no. now? Fuck <laughs> no. Yeah, like I really feel that. But if I had said that shit like a week after it came out. I'd be like, oh shit, let me rewatch this shit right now because I'm living off of the first time. So I feel like I need to watch No Way Home probably like without a crowd of people to really know how good it was. I wish I wish crowd is, my, my crowd the second time was ass. My crowd, my <laughs> crowd probably... was doing crazy like that. My movie theater at my place, like it's it never goes. Even I don't, <laughs> I don't even think Endgame like my theater went crazy. <laughs> for real? No. Which wow. I was happy for because I d I don't really wish to have like that type of experience. Crowd. Yeah, I don't, like when I mean, Melo is movie, one of when I'm going the to the worst mid range shooters ever, in the league. Bro. I don't want to ever like people Dang. screaming at the top of shouting, clapping. Like I don't want to see any of that or hear any of that. I just want to watch them be have a good time. And you missing out, Darius? How you not gonna like that, bro? Nah, you tell bro. me you wouldn't cheer when when Captain America lifted that hammer. I think that was actually no. There was that was the only part I didn't cheer, but I know I think my the part at that moment my theater went um like they were clapping and like. Screaming, yeah, but that was they were running the game. offense through Carmelo Anthony right now, bro. What the fuck is this shit, bro? Are they losing? Oh no, they tied. Oh, bro, no. Rondo, Rondo Westbrook, and Isaiah Thomas are on the court right now, and the de- the defense hasn't even been that bad, so I'll accept it. Oh, it'll, it'll, bro, it'll get bad. they're it'll they're get running bad. the offense through Melo in the post, bro. What what type of shit is that? <laughs> what the fuck? What is Frank Vogel <laughs> thinking right now? Like. Whatever. I don't even. Frank Vogel isn't coaching. coaching. He's he's not not there. Oh yeah, he's that's right. Fuck. He's there. Oh yeah, he sucks too though. Yeah, he this this uh, really bro. Cool. Literally, he's I literally had. I literally don't even know the difference between Isaiah Thomas and, and Rondo, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, has he pull up? Nope, you suck. Put him on the bench, but, uh, coach. No way home, man. <laughs> generational. I love using that word. It generational. Is. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> When bro, you have, swear, when bro, you have three had... generational talents in one movie, I right, fuck that. Three. There's the three Spider Mans, William Defoe, mm-hmm. Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx generational talent, bro. Hold on. <laughs> Who else is in that shit? <laughs> Zendaya. Zendaya's generational. generational. When you have that much generational talent, bro. Hey man. Okay, I don't think I don't think Jamie Foxx. I think Jamie Foxx is a generational entertainer, but I don't think he's a generational actor. actor. Yeah, I don't I don't think he's I don't Okay, think okay, he... yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that. You can say that. Good. Yeah. He's still great though. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, that scene where he told Spider-Man, he's like, "Man, you know, you from Queens? I, I thought you were black." <laughs> no way he <laughs> thought that, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. There's no I'm way. Sorry, man. There's no. There's no way he thought that when like watching when watching the Amazing Spider-Man two. There's no way you you hear Andrew Garfield's voice and like, oh my gosh, you're <laughs> black. There's no way. <laughs> he, to be fair, Andrew Garfield sounded like a New Yorker though. He, yeah, he kind of. Y- yeah, you actually noticed that his his accent was gone in that new way home. Oh, it was the yeah. New York accent. Yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, I didn't notice it. Like, I and a, and the Amazing Spider-Man too. Like, his New York accent, like, is his really strong. New York strong. accent was there, bro. Yeah, really strong. strong. <laughs> and then I, why was one, that even? Why was that even a thing? I don't even. That it was wasn't even that random. strong in the Amazing Spider-Man one. It got really strong in two, though. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I just really wanted accuracy or something. But you think you think my nigga Ned from it being the in the Doctor Strange movie? Learning, yeah, learning some know, shit bro. from Doctor Strange. <laughs> no, he doesn't even remember anything with uh, Spider Man. Remember, so that yeah, I remember work. Peter. No, nah, he that, has to still have his powers. Bro. That ending is so sad, bro. Like it is. Peter is really all alone, bro. <laughs> hey, that's that's good though, bro. He There's, can meet some new people. I see. I see. That's so depressing, bring some, though. Like, can you? He could get some bitches, like Mustard would say. <laughs> he I, say. He's gonna get some bitches. We know Gwen <laughs> Stacy's coming. He probably might see Liz again. You know what I'm saying? And also, 
He's gonna meet Harry now, bro. He's gonna go to college and he's gonna meet Harry now. He's but gonna meet imagine, a imagine, best no, imagine this is like a real life scenario. Like, let, let's say, forget the movie. Right? <laughs> let's say you just like, you just lost, you lost your aunt. She died, right? She was like your only family. You got no one else. Your parents fucking left. You don't have an uncle. You don't. You don't, you don't have your an uncle, uncle. Is apparently just. He doesn't, doesn't exist. exist for some reason. <laughs> and then your best friend, your, gr- your best friend just doesn't remember. Your girlfriend doesn't remember you. I mean, who do you have, bro? Not even your bullies remember you, Flash. He don't remember you. And it's crazy because like you remember, you remember everything. Like you remember yeah. all that shit. None of these niggas. You go up to all these niggas. They gonna be like, uh, hello. That's so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> like that's exactly, that what, that's exactly what's in there. And, now, and he's broke as fuck. Peter Parker. Too. He's broke as fuck. He's like wearing that shitty suit. Yeah, my nigga, my, my nigga about to get a job working for for J. Jonah Jameson and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but to be fair though, he is gonna like. I do think Zendaya will be back as his girl one day. Cause like that know. is MJ. Yeah. That is MJ. Like that is his original girl. Like Gwen Stacy. Let's be real. The whole purpose of Gwen Stacy is to die. That is the whole yeah. purpose of. Of her even being with Peter, let's be honest. She's not gonna marry that nigga. If he marries Gwen Stacy, it's like okay, like y'all are kind of trolling now. Like, like you're telling me that this girl is not supposed to die. Like the mm. moment I see Gwen Stacy in a trailer with that purple outfit, I already know ah, <laughs> she's about to die. It's it's coming, you know. So like, I think there's a lot of things they can tell. Like they, and you notice no references to Spider Man Three. I don't think they reference a single thing in that movie. No villain came from that movie. Oh no, Sam! No, they no, they yeah, they did no. Uh, Toby did mention Venom. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, mentioned, yeah, yeah, yeah. he mentioned he mentioned he mentioned the Venom. Sandman was in there, but he wasn't really in there. He was CGI'd yeah. into the movie and shit. Sandman, let's be real. Sandman didn't really do anything. Like, he was just kind of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just he wanted to go home. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he's one. He's wanted like two of them to actually live, so he didn't give a Like <laughs> yeah, bro, Sandman just like completely like switched. Like he was completely fine with like Peter. And then, in like, the beginning, yeah, no, like he, uh, he he just wanted the box, bro. To be fair, I'm not gonna lie. I know that like we needed somebody from like Andrew's universe, but you got Jamie Foxx. But like, why was the lizard there? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't like, understand. Oh, uh, every time he talked, like it just bothered me. Like, I yeah. hate the way he, I hate the way he talks, bro. That shit throws me off. Hey, hey, shout out to Marvel for the CGI. My God, if you watch the first one, the CGI was. So so bad, yeah. so bad. The lizard look. That was one they of the fixed worst. The lizard, ones. Thank yeah. God. Yeah, they <laughs> fixed them. Oh my goodness, it's so <laughs> ugly, bro. <laughs> it's so ugly. Still, he still looked ugly as shit in this. It's movie. a massive improvement, though. It's a massive improvement. No, opinion. it's a huge improvement, bro. You know, I'm telling you, you may not notice it, but go watch. You don't even have to watch it. Just go look on YouTube of the scene with the lizard. Watch, nigga. The you will think it looks like it looks like a video game. Like it's so bad. Yeah, bro. it's it, it's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, like to everybody out there, if you haven't seen it, we're sorry. There's a timestamp down below. If you didn't press it, that's sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> uh, uh but yeah, nine out of ten, nine and a half out of ten. I'll give it I would a, say, but I'll give it a nine and a half. Yeah, I, I gave it a nine and a half too. I I'm I'm not I'm not giving it ten out of ten. Yeah, it's not. I think the only Spider-Man movie I could say to Spider-Verse may be better. No, it is. Spider-Verse is, 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 is superior. Yeah. Ten yeah. out of ten, my bro. It is. Yeah. Because like now that I'm thinking about it, there really is no flaw in Spider-Verse. The soundtrack is cold. Uh the the story is cold. Like the characters oh, all of I will them say, are cool. No Way Home, the musical score did hit. They played the they played the right songs at the right time. You you felt every scene when the music was playing in the background. I love, they had great shots. Yeah. Like they had great shots. Like that scene where the rain is falling on Peter's face after all uh, guys. Yes. That shit is elite, bro. I don't, that shit and Jay and fucking Jameson's just on the screen talking shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that shit is so admit, disrespectful. <laughs> it's so disrespectful, bro. And I, I'll admit this though. One one thing I like about this movie is that they didn't do the whole. Because Marvel has their tropes. MCU has their tropes. And one trope that I hate is some comedy. Like, they put comedy in the worst places. Like, when something serious yeah. happens, a joke will just pop up out of Infinity nowhere. Infinity like, War was probably movie, the worst case. The worst case of shit. Like, Star-Lord will say something funny after, like, Thanos just throw a fucking moon at Iron Man or something. Like, dude, we're supposed, <laughs> we're supposed to be serious, bro. Like, this why are y'all the, making jokes? This is the end of the world type shit. And <laughs> Literally the end of the world, bro. And they're out here, like... 
that's that's uh oh, is that like marvel has all their choice all the main characters got to be funny they always got to tell jokes you know like i don't think they've ever made a main character that isn't funny uh, okay captain marvel but that was kind of on purpose i don't even think that movie was i mean i think good. like the changes are good sometimes like for example thor i don't think people would fuck oh, with, i don't think that makes sense with thor that makes nah, sense. I did not. I, I think people fuck with Thor. If you no, was before. not funny. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Because in the now first he is. movie, now he is. For sure. let's be real. Let's be real. Before Thor Ragnarok, I had never ever heard somebody say, "Man, my favorite Avenger is Thor." Nobody was saying and, that. And if they did, it wasn't because of the movies. It was because it of wasn't. the comics. It's because of the comics, bro. <laughs> yeah. Or it was females that thought he was. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's just no reason to like Thor until Ragnarok came. Because he's a fucking Ragnarok clown, was so funny, very funny. I love Ragnarok. Him. Nigga, you, you had a wide open dog. Yeah. Wait, Westbrook I was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" That's that's enough, enough uh, <laughs> MC slash Spider Man. Yeah, let's get though. into some NBA, man. I know y'all been waiting for some NBA uh, news. Or, uh, I can topics. finally root for the Brooklyn Nets. But go ahead. All right, Ray. so here we go. First topic. Uh, we'll put a time set for that, by the way, if, <laughs> for anyone who doesn't want to spoil. <laughs> But first topic, uh, Kyrie Irving is coming back. He'll be coming back on road games only. Uh, he won't be playing for uh, at home at, uh, what's it called, Barclays Center? Is that right? Yeah, the Barclays Center. Yeah, Barclays Center. And then he'll be playing road games only. Uh, the thing is, though, I don't even, because I know, because New York isn't the only, like, really strict uh, place when it comes to, like, COVID restrictions. I think mm-hmm. California... So, does it, Canada too? Yeah, Canada. Like, I, I don't know how many games, like, how many areas he's actually allowed to play in with the road games. So, let's say, okay, he can only play 41 games right now, which the season's like a quarter of the way done. So, we, it's really less. It's than not that. even 41. Yeah. So, and then you got to subtract the games where, like, the super, uh, I guess I'll use the term liberal <laughs> states, <laughs> liberal states that, like, uh, have these all these COVID policies, like, you gotta respect subtract those uh, areas too. So I don't know. I mean, he can play in Texas. Shit, I mean, unfortunately, yeah, he can play. He can play in Texas. <laughs> he can play in San Antonio. He can play in uh, Oklahoma. You know. <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, when you're when you're when you're when you're the road, team, he can play. He can play anywhere, bro. Really? It's it's kind of like it's kind of like how Brad how Bradley Beal can play in New York, even if he's unvaccinated. Okay, cause, cause I get he's, it. Yeah, because he's it. not. Yeah, because he doesn't live there. Okay, that's yeah, dumb. But- but yeah, it is like that. It is dumb. So like Bradley Beal right, is so another mind. player can, who's, who's not vaccinated. Yeah. He can play for the remainder of the four. Uh, the no, but Canada, games. he can't play. He can't play in Canada though, because Canada. I think they made rules where like if you don't have uh, the vaccine, like you can't. Like I, I don't want to say if you're like a visiting into the country, like you can't come in. I think it's something like that. Like you can't. Yeah, that, I think that's a. Yeah, it's an international policy. I uh, yeah, you can't. Uh, yeah, they're very strict on yeah. uh, COVID. I think, uh, I think it's about time I get my booster, bro. It's been inter- like six months. International travel is very serious when it comes to that COVID shit. So, hey, y'all hear about Stephen A? Stephen A got, he got COVID. COVID. Yeah, my name, hey, people in the comments was like, "Yo, he announced himself having COVID, like he was Magic Johnson." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I yeah. Was, you know, it, he was still doing the show regardless, though. Like, I, he was, yeah, he was still bro, yelling. He, at that's that's, that's how you know ESPN needs him, bro. Started talking shit about Kyrie. Yeah, that, that's how you know ESPN needs him, bro. I was gonna say, bro, ESPN really some hoes. Like they really said, nah, you don't get days off. Even <laughs> say how you say how you you asymptomatic. All right, it's come it's come through, bro. <laughs> nah, <laughs> would it, would like, it matter bro. if he wasn't? Like if he was? Nah, but because he was virtual, so like they'd yeah. be like, hey, just, just get that webcam, set it up at your house. I don't, I don't care if you're screen. sneezing or having a headache right now or having a sore throat or any of that shit. Hey, you you realize you realize we're covering Christmas, right? <laughs> 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 They're gonna be like, let's let's tune into Stephen A. He's at his house, you know, due to COVID nineteen. And then Stephen A. Like, uh, you know, uh, the, the Suns, bro. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. That nigga, nigga's gonna be sick covering Christmas games virtually, bro. Sick. Uh, but yeah, Kyrie, man, uh, he'll be back for the road games only. Uh, I mean, although two just recently reported though, Kyrie was uh, he has been put in COVID protocols, so he won't be back until. Next week, most likely. Yeah, he's week. still not. He's still not. He wouldn't be playing either way. They want to ramp up. Like they want to make sure he's in shape, and mm-hmm. like all that oh, stuff. Yeah. So it, the process, the process is already going to be like three weeks type shit. Three so. weeks. But let's be honest. Let's be right. honest. If I'm really being real, this is a knock 
And I don't give a fuck what Harden fans say, but this is a knock on James Harden. Because if James Harden, if James Harden was the James Harden that we all know he can be and was not have called Kyrie's phone. They, bro. Yeah, thank you. They would not have even picked up the phone and called Kyrie. They would have let the season play out. Okay. Win, me, lose, or draw in the playoffs, and Kyrie would have been off the team next let year. Let me let me ask but, you, do y'all actually think um because we I I know we've had this like topic with like previous podcasts, but do we, like let's let's actually like ask it like and make sure we're all in agreement. Is is James Harden washed? <laughs> is he actually washed? I mean no, nah, because he's still like a. I don't want to say it yet. Top I think ten. He, I think he's still I, like a top ten, top, 10 top fifteen player. Top ten player I, right I, now. I, he ain't top ten. I'm not gonna say right now, but I I don't believe. I don't believe that if he goes into the playoffs healthy, right? My boy, he's going to play at a top 10, 15. Like, I don't know about that either. This is what I'm going to say, bro. This isn't, I would say, this probably isn't the low that he was expecting to have <laughs> now that Kyrie is gone, right? Mm-hmm. And now Kyrie's back. Even though it's only road games, I feel like you're going to see. A, and also Joe Harris is back. And he's a big part of the team. Even if Joe Harris turned into a fraud in the Buck series, he's a big part of the team, man. They, they're relying on David Duke Jr., to play minutes, and he was hoping. Don't get me wrong, man. My, my nigga, hey, give him more minutes. But they, they, they need Lamarcus to be the second best mid range shooter. Make, the- it, make it easier for you. Do you guys think the James Harden we got a year or two ago is? Will I forget that again? So basically, Rockets Harden. I guess. No, I think mm. I think you're just gonna you're gonna get it in spurts. Like like he's not because his primary duty is still to play make, and that's what he does first. He's he's he's, he's play make first, score second now. Before he was score first, play make whenever. So I think I mean he's the secondary there, option right a, now. Like it's kind of like, there's the reason for that. Okay, only. he's the secondary. Okay, that is true. He's the second score option, but he, hey, that's supposed to be Kyrie, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think the thing <laughs> is just with Harden. Issue. I think the thing with Harden that annoys me is that like. Like, don't get me wrong, bro. Harden is still a good player. I don't think he's a top ten player right now. I think by the I, end of the season, I think he could a hell put no for me. <laughs> hell, no. I think I think by the end of the season, he could put himself back there. I'm gonna give Harden till the All Star break. Like when we get to All Star time, if he's still playing like this, then yeah, we can have that conversation. But the thing Funny, is, every like, time, oh, wait, go, go ahead, ahead, finish it. I was just gonna say, like, the thing is, like, when Kyrie gets back, he's going to play better. Like he's gonna exactly. naturally. Play. I, I think, yeah. I think Harden would happy. make the All Star game though. Oh yeah, he's an All Star. He's an All Star. Now I will admit though, I know I think it depends on how long. He's out. Come on, I get Darius Garland and the Cavs and all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think Garland, I still Garland, think Harden Garland is building, better. I'm not gonna lie. Harden has been better in my opinion, but Garland is building some steam. And if he plays better, if Harden gets, I mean not Harden, if Garland gets to around like 22 points a game, he can put himself in that convo. And I ain't gonna lie. The guy that's really upset us and relinquished his All Star spot potentially is Bradley Beal. If Bradley yeah, Beal Bradley was Beal might play, not make it, actually. Uh, these last, these last, like I think it's like three, four, five yeah, games or something. He's thirty, not yeah. Long, and he also he also beat the Jazz. Like he, he been, hey, he about, he about to get take his case back. So he talking about. Yeah, but the Wizards are not winning as many games as they did in the beginning of the season. Hey, I Wizards will say will probably have a losing record by the All Star break. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, yeah. I, what I will say though, I had Demar Derozan as my starter. No, I had my I had Zach Levine as my starter before. I don't uh, know. I think Derozan might. That nigga's a bucket, bro. I'm so yo. That, you know, is a forward. He's so tough. Derozan is a forward, so he can't take Levine's spot. He gets, bro. You get listed as both. Both, bro. You can get like there's there's always players that the way who would be both. would it be but Levine pref- or DeRozan? Like DeRozan is probably available on the guard ballot and the forward ballot. Ballot, mm-hmm. even though actually he might just be on the forward because he played forward in but he's like power forward in yeah. San Antonio. Yeah, so. he he plays the three and the four sometimes. Every now and then he'll play the four, but that's like if we really want to go. If, small. if that's the case, I still I still have it the same. Trey, <laughs> Trey Levine, KD, Giannis, Embiid. I don't think that's changing. It's not. Okay. Uh, Steph, you know, we know in the West going to be Steph, LeBron, Jokic. Luka. Eh. Luca Steph, will LeBron. Yeah, I'm talking about locks. Oh, I, actually, I'm going to say Luca's a lock because he, yeah, he, he got that international fan <laughs> vote, man. The rub. Yeah. yeah. He and Paul, Paul, George, Paul George coming for that fourth spot. He might not have it right now. But he coming I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if Paul George is going to get that hoe, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who's, who's, first of all, his, yeah, his, I don't know who's the competition? LeBron, Jokic. 
80 might AD. be over him. But 80's no. 80's oh, out. I, oh, yeah, 80's out. Yeah, you're right. 80's out. Yeah, exactly. PG. I think it's happy, bro. Look at <laughs> celebrating the other man's part. downfall, bro. <laughs> Hey, bro, I am because you know, LeBron, <laughs> look, a little, I am because when LeBron and Westbrook look good without that fraud, injury prone. Oh, my God. You see the hey, West Talk man. to him, Vino. Talk the, to him. The Westbrook, the Westbrook fans are actually like, I can't believe they've, they've pushed this narrative that AD has to be the one to go now. Like, AD is believe? a fraud. Facts. Imagine, imagine LeBron. It's not his play. Listen, it's not and his play. And then saying, AD, listen, I know you want a championship, but I want Russ instead of you as my second guy. Can you it's believe not that? His play. And I'm not even talking about for this year. But if this man does not play in the playoffs, you know what time it is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> who are you going to get out? out? Who, are you, who are you going to get, though? Uh, are we calling Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown? Who, whoever, Jaylen we, Brown? Want Jay, we want Jalen Brown. <laughs> And whoever else the Celtics want to offer for AD, bro, we want Jalen Brown. Hey, Loki, you know who I think they should look into? They should, if they can, look into sound. Y'all don't clown me for this. They should look into like a Go Bear, this- Loki. They mean? should look into that, bro. <laughs> if they could possibly do that, you're their defense talking. needs, it. bro. You know, you telling me that's a bad thing? You're gonna trade AD. You're going to trade for someone who can shoot over 35. They don't need, <laughs> oh, you don't need a, that, That's not always possible, bro. You can't. That's not always possible. With but, Anthony Davis, that's not always possible. Bro, what are we doing here, bro? Dude, <laughs> first of all, first of all, I don't even think they should keep Russ. Russ need to go too. I'm sorry. I'm. Hey, you know, I don't nah, know why you, you know. Look at you know who needs to get the you know fuck what, out of there, bro. You know what? No, I, you I don't, know don't what. You know what? That's fine. Because when Westbrook goes to the Clippers in free agency, it'll be cool, bro. Hey, look. <laughs> no, nah, who enough, really bro. needs to get that out, out of there, bro? He has a player yeah. option, but we LeBron gotta get the fuck out of there, bro. That's who he needs to needs to get the fuck out of there, bro. LeBron, bro. Get him the fuck out of there. Break the whole team up. Fuck out of here. This is ass. I'm not gonna lie. If LeBron actually leaves LA. I ain't gonna lie, he's gonna be known as a fucking team hopper for the rest of his career. Because like, <laughs> I mean, hey, it's one thing, everyone like, knows that kind of like, ever, yeah, at, but like, ever since but Miami, like, like he's kind of always been that. Yeah, but it, it's one thing when he left to go to Miami, right? Because that was the first time. So I gave no, no one was even gonna people blamed him, but I, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. But going yeah. back to Cleveland, I don't even think that's that big of a deal because like, yeah, you you did kind of team hop, but that's your hometown. You promised to get them a championship. It is what it is, right? But then when he went to L.A., I'm like, okay, now I know you're just <laughs> L.A. <laughs> and, like, you traded all the young niggas. You traded them for A.D. You know, And then you're going to leave the same place you traded all their young talent. You told A.D., hey, you're going to be my guy now. You're my dude. You're going to take over this team when I'm old. He's old, and A.D. just, he hasn't taken over. Yeah, AD, well, AD, LeBron's still AD's better than him, bro. Nigga. That's just embarrassing. AD is old too. Let's but let's get back to Kyrie. Though. Kyrie, we're, we're gonna talk about AD later on. Yeah, but Kyrie, here's my thing. I think that it's Kyrie is gonna help the team, but I think honestly it's best for the Nets to drop to the two seed at this point. Not gonna cap what do you mean? because like if they get into a seven game series with the team, and like or no, they'll be home. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. So they, they got to secure the one seed because if they go to a seven game series with the team and they don't have home court advantage, like that's not good. They, no, they, they yeah. shouldn't want home court advantage. He can't play. Want, he why would they not want home, home court advantage? Because he can't play home games. No, no, no. So in, a, in a game seven. He oh, okay. Play. Yeah, yeah. So I was right yeah. the first time that y'all yeah. should have corrected me. I was right the first time that <laughs> they should want the second seed because it's better to be in Milwaukee. I'm tripping. I just got a message. It's better to be in Milwaukee than to be or in a, or We're not going seven games, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's better to... <laughs> what I mean, you I, mean, bro? No, all, all y'all got to do is win the games in Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but like... If we, bro, without I don't know, Pat, bro. Kyrie, <laughs> Kyrie's only playing three of the I, games, bro. Chicago and you beat them twice might, already. Yeah, I think Chicago is actually... A, I it, think y'all match up pretty much yeah, fine, bro. Yeah, the matchup is fine. Especially just, if Vucevic can play at a normal level and not dude, miss loaders. And not miss loaders, shit. bro. Have you seen these games, bro? Vuce, <laughs> yeah, Vucevic, Vucevic, get ass. Switches. Vucevic is ass. I'm, I'm telling you, so ass. He'll get switches on fucking smaller players. Like, like I remember I saw this one play where he got a sw- And I was at the game. I was at the fucking game. I saw this Rock one this play. <laughs> yes, I saw one play where this guy got a switch on KPJ. Like, it was like three times in a row, KPJ, Gary Bird, Jalen Green. No buckets. No buckets. So one, fir- first, it was a post fade. I was like, why did you fucking do that? You could have backed this nigga down into the fucking paint. 
even if they sent the double, find the open man. It's not that hard. Nope, miss, miss, miss. I'm like, <laughs> this nigga has lost the ability to use his size. And like he's yeah. been shooting the ball good as of late, but man, I his actually, post up. I actually game. noticed that too. Like coincidentally enough, I also went to a Chicago Bulls game. I mean, it was uh, Cleveland versus Chicago, and Vucevic was missing everything, bro. Uh, like, mm-hmm. dude could not hit any shit. Like he was, I think he was. From what I remember, he was relying a lot of on the jump shot. Um, and it was. was I think I think so. It was. Oh yeah, he shot eight for twenty three, one for seven from the three. I remember and he was getting bitched by uh by Jared <laughs> Allen. Like I, I truly believe like whoever Vucevic faces, if he faces an elite center in the playoffs, you're gonna get cooked. He's getting bitched. He's getting bitched. Because mm. like I remember when we faced Philly earlier on in the season, like yeah, like, the the Sixers like, are not a good game. matchup for y'all. I don't, I don't, think, not. I don't think that's a good matchup. And Bead torched us, bro. This nigga had a fucking dribble pull up, uh, sidestep three to ice the game. On the right wing or left wing, one of them, and I was like, "Man, this is not good, bro." And, and like, now, now they out here calling Joel the best center in the league. So disrespectful, bro. Who's saying oh, that? It is. They would, they would say, you know, my nigga Skip Bayless. Oh, oh, course. Skip Bayless and them. Kendrick Perkins do, do disrespecting Jokic. Bayless? Kendrick Perkins said that shit too. I, I don't know if he called Joel the best, but he he was disrespecting Jokic. I don't care. I'll say this though: Embiid, when he's fully healthy. Nah, he ain't better than Jokic. No, he's nah, the crazy, the craziest <laughs> thing Skip Bayless said this morning, though, bro. He was like, he was like, yo, I was watching Joel and B dominate the fourth quarter like Jokic never could, and I was like, nah, this nigga never watched the Nuggets game in his life. That's what I mean. I was like, there's what? no way. Jokic he just is said that, probably bro. the like a he's probably a, he's a top two player this season, in my opinion. All you had to do was go watch that one game, best. that yeah, one game where Jokic. Best. Jokic scored like I think it was like ten straight points going from the fourth quarter into overtime versus the Pelicans, bro. And, like, come on, this nigga's hard carrying. Really Aaron Gordon. Jokic. I really, I feel bad for him because <laughs> his team's injured, and like every time he just hops off the floor, like you know, you know how LeBron fans, run off the you know how LeBron, you know how LeBron fans are like they just like <laughs> once he steps off the court, that team becomes like a G League team. That's actually the case <laughs> with Nuggets. That's actually the case with Nuggets. Yeah, Lugets. I'm not gonna lie. Jokic is on his 2018 LeBron shit right now. Like he he's really carrying the fuck out. T- actually. I say it's 2000s LeBron shit. Like, yeah. the shit that he was doing the first phase of Cleveland, that's what Jokic is doing right now. And I know 2018 was bad, too, but you just had to be there to watch what LeBron was doing in the beginning. The first hard carry job, like the 07s, the 08, 09, this is what Jokic oh, is going bullying right these now. niggas. If Jokic was yeah. a top four seed, bro, I think he'd be easy the MVP. Easy. Without a doubt. Oh I honestly God, think he was bro. the fifth seed. He, he give could be Ariza all of Melo's minutes. Are oh, they the fifth seed? Yeah, they're the fifth seed, but they're not like they don't have me. Like the fifth seed in the West is like a G League team. <laughs> but I can't lie, if they're the fifth seed, I I'm not mad at that if he gets the MVP. I don't I mean, think I would be mad, seed... but I, I think like you got to get more wins than that. Fifth seed, they're, they're I, I, one I win above 500. Like that's not. Really oh, good. okay. Uh, yeah, the, but the, like I said, the fifth seed in the West. <laughs> so yeah, hey, I, I, think, I think the goal should be like forty-eight wins. Man. He just he just needs like one just one win streak. To if he gets him, fifty like, wins, so I, just, I think he's easy. MVP. Just, it's not even close. This, this is this is why the MV. This is why the NBA made such a fucking mistake giving that MVP to Russ because now everybody is going to compare great seasons at low seeds to Westbrook because I believe that this year that Jokic is having is even better than the year that Russ had when he won MVP. It's better than that year. I mean, and the yeah. fact that, like, he could probably win the same amount of games, get the same seeding, and because he's the sixth seed, not win, it's like, okay, then, like, everyone's just going to reference that year and be like, what about Russ? It was just the, West did the same thing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just that 10-10. Uh, that West, Westbrook, 10-10, Westbrook, won 47, Westbrook won 47 games. So that was, like, three off it, to be clear. So no, if Jokic no, no, over here hovering hovering over five hundred, that's there's there's a difference, bro. Here, bro. I mean, <laughs> eventually not, though, difference, bro. eventually though, I think they're gonna win more than five hundred. I mean, that's the fifth Me season. Where eventually, they're gonna win more. And Jamal Murray, hopefully, I mean, it's been a long time. I ain't gonna lie, it's, he hasn't hooped in a long time. It's been February, so it's, he's I gonna. Think. Be, in my in my opinion, so. when you're a bucket, 
when you're a bucket, you're a bucket. He he ain't Jamal Murray. I mean, he ain't Carmelo Anthony, where you're not always a bucket. No, nah, when you're a bucket, you're a bucket. Also, Trevor Ariza is is way better than Carmelo Anthony and should take all his minutes. I've seen enough. It's been two games. It's only been two games I've seen enough, bro. Ariza makes almost all his threes, and he's not. Oh, they're isoing Melo every play, bro. I can't do this, bro. Bro, DeAndre Aiden is feasting, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, y'all. DeAndre is going to have an amazing game tonight, bro. He's going to probably drop 50. Oh, look at Bumass, uh, I see. Melo's so trash. My God, I just saw it. Like, I knew he was going to. I, I, it was so obvious that he was going to fall off after that, like, that first hot stretch in like the first 10 games of the season. Bro, I, I was in this group chat with niggas, right? And tell me why these mustard, bro. Wrong about IT. He's He dropped 19 in the first. I'm like, dude, first of all, most of those <laughs> no points one came cares. Down <laughs> no one cares. And then, and then the second game against the Bulls. We were using this nigga as target practice, bro. He was fouling all over the place. His rotations were awful. But, of course, niggas are going to see the points he dropped and be like, he's giving them something. And it was, it was inefficient, too. 41% from the field type shit. I'm saying, like, it's like, even if he scored, like, IT has to be, like, an amazing offensive player. Because, like, when you're that much of a liability, to justify getting, like, heavy minutes, like, you have to be, like, a Trey Young. You have you to need, be like a yeah. Allen Iverson. Even you right now, saying? right now in this game, he's like one for eight. And you, always, and you always another thing as well. You always need even if you're like that talented offense, you always need like defenders around you to hide mm-hmm. you. So. You do. You do. What That's I will why say they were struggling that year before last year. Like yeah. the team was That's, just really bad. Defensively. What I will say in the fourth quarter, he was he did not look bad defensively. Who so, I think? I was like, oh yeah. I was like, oh, I Maybe he, he hasn't been that bad. <laughs> I, has, I remember he stopped it though. big. I, re- I think he stopped it big. I forgot who it was though. It was he stopped. But the- it was Tony Bradley. Who cares? Tony like I will Bradley? say, like, I, like I'm going to say, the Lakers did not Bradley look that bad defensively, but Demar Derozan just whoever that the big was. Shots, they should I mean, be you out can't the do league, anything bro. about. They that, should bro. be out the league. No, Derozan. Derozan is just a legit like tough shot maker. That that man, that bro, hand in face. It don't matter, bro. I'm telling also, you, DeRozan the couldn't get a rebound. That's really why they lost the game. He couldn't get a goddamn rebound. I'm telling you, bro, DeRozan is just one of those niggas that, like, because, like, I swear he practices contested middies. Because, like, it's like he gets to his spots. He knows if he gets there, it don't matter if a hand in his face, two hands in his face, the nigga just knows it's going to go in, like, no matter what. But, hey, we're going to save the DeRozan talk for later because niggas are actually stupid on this pod. <laughs> All so right. Gonna no. get to that Let's move on to the next topic. Niggas is goofy. Actually, yeah, the next topic, Um, speaking of COVID with Kyrie, um, you know, the whole situation in the NBA right now is that um, a, around at least 100 players are out for COVID protocols with the new Omicron uh, variant. Um, it's taken over the league. Uh and about, I, I always see every day on Twitter, I always get like a notification every like 10 minutes, I swear. Saying, I swear, bro. I'm like, I'm getting tired of Woj and Shane's notice. It's mainly Woj, actually, mm-hmm. but I always be seeing like this G League player signed with this team. And I'm like, wow, I needed to know that information. <laughs> like, I don't I don't really care, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. Nah, nah, you got, nah, you going to need to know. This is our jobs now, man. We got <laughs> to know what these G League niggas means. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all had an outbreak too, right? Yeah, Caps had no, outbreak. Yeah, all of our half our team is out now, which is great. We have oh, uh shit. we got uh what's his name? Oh TST, who you thought you was? Nigga, nigga thought he was Prime Jordan. What the fuck? Yo, he tried he tried to do an up and under. <laughs> bro, muster, wait till it pops up, bro. <laughs> bro, we got uh what's his name? Luke Cornette. I think that's his name. The GOAT. Yeah. It, that's gonna be it, it's the NBA right now, man. It's it's looking really tough. Especially how winter uh, viruses are always dominant during that time. Um, it's looking pretty tough right now. Uh, I don't. From from my thoughts, um, I don't because th- Adam Silver did come on earlier today um, at the time of this recording, saying that he w- is not gonna. He has no plans of pausing the season, which I kind of expected because with how the <laughs> other sports leagues are. Um, he on his Roger Goodell shit, bro. He on his yeah, Roger Goodell. Like, it's it's a business. Like it don't matter, <laughs> which is. <laughs> crazy but with the, how the nfl has done it like they don't care like as it, we got replacement players or backup players that could continue the games um owners mm-hmm. i think i don't even, like they did a uh, the nba and the mb uh, pa did it like a meeting and no owner actually wanted to stop it not an owner yeah that's not actually 
Yeah, that's not surprising. You know these niggas need their money. They need that bag. They yeah, they saw so. what happened with the bubble. They saw. I, I don't think I don't think players want to do it either though. To be honest, because they uh they the bubble. Hey man, I say right after Christmas, stop it for a week, dog. The bubble man, like uh, one mental health, like it was awful in there, and two. Mm-hmm. It's not just. Let's be real. It, it was just Paul George. It was just Paul George. No, it, it, I I understand where players come from when they. No, I know, I know. Yeah, but it, it's just um, what's it called? Mental health and uh, it's just not worth it. Like if you really think about it, because the, the when the bubble happened and it was over, no one, people still say the 2020 Lakers are just a fraudulent. A fraud. like, yeah, they're yeah. lately. I don't agree with it. I think it's a, a, a the ring counts in my opinion. I regardless if it did change certain circumstances for a player like AD like shooting above like being the greatest mid range shooter of all time apparently. I I like I I got to count it like I it's unfair cuz they did work for it at the end of the day. And they and everybody change. was going through it. Everybody yeah, went yeah, through everybody it. Yeah, everybody went through it. Everybody had those conditions like you got to you got to do what you got on, on the floor, right? So uh-huh. I I think the only thing my bad. Go ahead. No, I was going to say like I, I don't think they should pause or do a bubble, either. To be honest, but um, like it's 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 looking pretty tough right now. I heard today, uh, Adam Silver was actually considering the fact that like for uh, eight uh players who are uh who aren't showing any oh, symptoms, asymptomatic. Yeah, asymptomatic, uh, they uh they're like their uh time for COVID protocol will be shortened. Which yeah, I, I heard about that. I I'm just tired of this COVID shit. It's been almost two. It's been almost two years, bro. It's so crazy, but that's yeah, I I, I I think that um how I feel about it is like like don't get me wrong. Um, well, I'll say this about the Lakers real quick because to piggyback off of that, I think the only thing that makes like the Lakers title run a little fluky to me, it isn't even just like the shooting. Obviously, that's kind of self-explanatory. You just see what AD was doing in the bubble. Um, I, I but, completely understand why people say it's fluky, but I got to count, bro. It's fluky to me, but it, it's not even just the shooting. I think just the fact that, like, they were healthy is fluky. Like, we all that's, saw that's AD. That's every team, though. No, no, I know. Not that's why team, I'm saying every, uh, every championship run. Yeah, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm not saying it's an asterisk because everybody went through it. But, like, just the fact that, like, we know what Anthony Davis' injury history is. And like the the fact that they had that time off, like it, it helped a guy like LeBron you be at apex level, AD be at like apex level. AD, there's a good chance if they didn't stop the season, he could have got hurt before the playoffs even started with that fucking injury. But that's a, yeah, that's a what if though. Like like that's it's a like, what if. Honestly, it's... with AD, that's not even a what if. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. But still, like in all seriousness, though, it, it is a what if. Like. Um, and I, honestly, that's why I said, like, I, I'm not really going to be mad at them because, like, everybody went through it and they hooped. You know what I'm saying? You got to go out there and hoop anyway. So it's not a it's not an asterisk to me. It's just, I, I just a little it's just fortunate. It just ruins the sport yeah. for me. And think about it. Like, ever since the Warriors won in 2018, actually, you could even include that year. Every year, there's some type of asterisk anyway. Yeah, there's always, there's always injuries. No team is ever fully healthy at the end of the season. So Exactly. 2018 injuries to Chris Paul. 2019, uh, uh, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson. 2020, bubble. 2021, injuries. 2015, injuries. 2014, Dwayne Wade. Every year, bro. Yeah, it's every year. It's every year. Every year, there's something. You know what I'm saying? Like you can and always point always out like what if this player didn't get hurt or what if this player what if the bubble never existed? Like it's always that what if and like it always bothers me. I hate that what if. That's why to me, like I, I just don't think asterisks exist. Like it just doesn't matter to me. I think if Obviously, the only the only time where I like, okay, asterisks, I can see it, is like, for example, like a Kings versus Lakers series. Oh, like the bad that. calls. Yeah, I can, I can. I mean, I mean, we could talk about the Cavs in fifteen. I'm not even gonna lie, because we 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 all know what happens if Kevin Love and Kyrie are playing. I'm just saying. Okay, I mean, yeah, I'm but like, let's be like, you gotta. I'm be real with you, bro. That shit is so kind of boosted, bro. Like, like I know they won the off, year yeah. after. Kevin Love, I know is they not... won the year after. Yeah, yeah, Kevin Love is not the positive that niggas think he is. As going against Draymond, no, bro. Like, he <laughs> even, never even, had if, even if even if Draymond Kevin Love every is in time, playing, bro. bro. Even if Kyrie finishes that series, that but that's the thing. Like, 
look at what happened the year after when they were there. It took a suspension. It took Iggy being hurt. What if? Bogey what got if hurt. Suspensions. No, no, what Bogey was out two injuries too. Like, like there's so many, and I know people are gonna hear Andrew Bogey like, oh, Andrew Bogey. No, Andrew Bogey actually. He was, like, he was actually probably yeah, the bro. biggest reason. <laughs> and and a big, yeah. big illegal, illegal screen setter, bro. I think I, I actually do believe Andrew. People say Draymond's the reason. People say Curry got injured, which I think is fucking bullshit. But uh, I, I really think the <laughs> biggest reason was Andrew Bogey. He was hurt, but I don't think that's a reason it's why not you an can excuse, use, bro. It's not an excuse. He was going off in that Western Conference Finals, bro. There's no, no excuses. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the I'm back, the I'm back game. Yeah, no, I don't care, excuse. bro. When your team has Master De Level Double playing 40 minutes in a playoff game, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. I mean, I'm just saying, bro. Like, I, I get that. Like, I could. Pl- man, Aiden was fucking. This up. I get that. Like, don't get me wrong, but like, you don't know how series are. Like, like if Kevin loves there. He's a defensive liability, and yeah. Draymond's bitching him regardless. So you could argue Kevin uh, I'm Love. Call, like, I'm calling sweep, in my opinion. A Wait, sweep? what? With You're Kevin Love and LeBron only? All right, my, all right, my fault. No, no. And Kyrie's, if we're being real, no, Kyrie's there. Oh, Kyrie. And if we're being, okay. And if we're being, and if we're being real, Darius, you can fact check this for me. Some of those games, like, like, let's be real. The games they won, LeBron willed them to those ga- those victories. Like, I think one of them went to overtime. You know what I'm saying? Like that was that was the game. That was the game Kyrie got hurt. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And like sometimes, sometimes like a a great player is just that good to do that on. You know what I'm saying? It actually hurts. That's just how it is. It hurts that we lost that game one because we would have won the series if we won that, bro. Pain. Okay, we don't know that. We don't know. I mean. Oh, like, it's they, go up 3-0. they go up 3 <laughs> 0. If they, if they we technically don't know that, though, because if you go up 1 0, maybe the Wolves. Yeah, okay, yeah, true, true, true. true. Yeah. But, like, and what's you up? Know, you know, like, I, I, know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It would have been tougher. I ain't gonna... Hey, y'all, y'all want to talk about what ifs? What if the playoff playoff format wasn't garbage ass cheeks in 2012 <laughs> and the Thunder uh, yeah. lose one home game no, that, and never I, see I, I don't know, I City again? I never understood why the NBA did that, bro. That shit made that no That was the sense. worst format. I, like, literally, like, as a child, like, back then, I did not think about it until I went back and watched it to, like, and I can actually, like, give my opinion on the series. That's some bullshit. I'm not it even was, gonna lie, bro. I think there was this, I think it was the Mavericks one time that, like, had this crazy, like, like fifty one season or some shit, bro, and they were like, I have oh, to do the research. division rules. Yeah, the division. That's what we're talking about. The division rules. That is the, the worst, the worst rules thing ever. That happened to the Mavs a lot because I think in their division, Spurs. Yeah, yeah the Spurs. And, uh, and who else? Somebody the thunder, else. The Thunder. The Thunder and the Pelicans. The thunder. The Thunder. Like, imagine you win sixty games or not sixty, fifty eight games, and because you're in the same division of the first seed and the second seed, you're like the fifth seed. I remember that happened to the Spurs too. The Spurs, uh, I think they had a, I don't know if it was a tiebreaker or something. Like they had a better record than some team ahead of them, but because they didn't win the division, the Spurs they were they had they had to face the Clippers in the first round as like the fifth seed, and obviously Chris Paul iced the series in Game Seven. So and they shouldn't have even been in that position to begin with. So that rule is one of the stupidest. I can't believe like that's actually very fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. That's a really, really bad yeah. rule that ever I'm, I'm glad they fucking fixed it. Thankfully. Uh, and nah, I know two Jer- home, it's- two home, three away, two home is the worst shit ever. First of all, I wouldn't even want home court event. I actually understand I would, that. Though. I would I rather be that, the though. road team. I, w- mm-hmm. I would feel more confident in my team stealing one you, on the road than having that, though, to play three right? straight home games. No, that shit was so ass. You do know why they do that, obviously, right? To- no, nah, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, like, they, like they start at, with the first seed or whatever like their two games for the first game one and two and then game three four five they start with the uh the lower seeded team you know that right like they, the reason why they does because obviously for money and transportation like it's just it's simple as that like uh, but it's like bro you, you know how much pressure it is to have to win a must win out yeah like that's too much fucking pressure like like and i know technically like they could steal the home uh, uh, and like imagine if they steal a game no, that's, road, literally, like, that's, literally, that's literally what happened, bro. That's that's literally what happened. He won game one. KD was fouled in game two. They didn't call it. They stole the game. There we go. We go to Miami. Big and we, never, we never go back. Home. No, F- fake. I have the footage. <laughs> <laughs> that nah, is no I, what if. That is fact. Nah, I, I feel you, though. But they were going to lose anyway. Prime LeBron wasn't going to lose to Kevin Durant. Hey, all I know is we should have been up 2 0. 
Mm. Hey, the what if champions of the, the 2012 if. NBA season, bro. Bro, but all I know is a Russell Westbrook. Would have so Westbrook go up 2-0 against in the finals, and he not blowing it like Chris Paul. That's all I'm saying. Hey, I have a question. If the Thunder win that series, for one, I think we all know the big three splitting up in Miami. I guess so. Um, but if the Thunder win that series, does KD ever leave OKC? No. I don't know. Dang. Just cra- it's crazy how like little things can change so much, you know? I guess he, could, he, he could pull a LeBron and be like, I've done everything I needed to do there. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, he could I do mean, that. He could. But I, I, don't, I think he like, really liked there and he wanted to if get he, his ring. Hey, like, like, they went that Harden. early. Or not. What's different about that is Harden comes back for sure. I, I was about to say, th- that changes a lot, bro. Harden, no Houston era with Harden. Uh, no Golden State era with KD. They would have been probably been know? the next dynasty, bro. They would have been the next dynasty. That's they would have, but honestly, I don't know because Harden would have. They would have kept bench, like because it's the same shit with like the Spurs. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you see how it works out the first time, and you're like, oh, maybe that's just the formula. You know? Now, granted, I do, I do, I even back then watching Harden, especially in that Spurs series that he went off in the conference finals. I remember watching those games. I'm like, bro, why is he a bench player? Like, I don't understand why he's coming off the bench. I didn't think he was ever an MVP caliber player, but I always thought he was enough to be a starter. Starter, yeah. You know, and when he went to Houston, um, I was like, oh, okay, let's see what he does. Maybe he can be an (laughs) all-star. That nigga surpassed my expectations. All right. Uh, But we can move on to the next topic. Uh, Any thoughts on COVID? Like with the protocols, yeah, man. Cancel the season for a week after Christmas, and then fix your protocols, and you're good. Literally, literally. But Insane. I just, I, I just think there's a re- there's a reason why the NBA hasn't shut down, and it's because Christmas is on Saturday, bro. <laughs> Do you, so yeah, that, is, no, that say, is that you say you think they're gonna shut down after Christmas Day? Yeah, I, I literally think so. Literally, let the Christmas I, Day happen. I actually can see it, and then just can't. Literally, literally, you can take a week off. Let all the players who are in protocols come off protocols. And then mm-hmm. just fix fix the rules a little bit, you know, because just tighten up the rules a little bit so you don't have a massive breakout like this again. And that's it. Yeah, I think for one, they're gonna make stricter rules. They're gonna. I think they should. I think they should. Whether they do or don't, it doesn't matter to me. I think. But I think, I think it's they should. Because I heard that the vaccinated I, players don't get tested as much as like yeah. unvaccinated players and stuff like that. So, I think honestly, it should be two weeks because of players that actually do have it. I think they should do it two weeks. Just to make sure everybody is back, no matter what, um, and then uh, after that, you know, you resume the season. I think they're probably going to make rules like with the booster shot. I think I heard something like that. Like, like they're going to make a rule like uh, that players have to get like the booster shot or something like that. That was that was already a thing though. Oh, that was already a thing. Yeah, that's already a thing. Like, like players who are vaccinated were required to do that like a week ago or something yeah. like that. Okay, yeah. because I th- I thought I've heard something like that recently. Yeah, I'm glad that that was the rule. But... Isn't the like. The thing like ten days, then you come back. Right now, yeah, it's like it's like ten yeah. days, and then, and then you have to like um, unless it's, ten, it's have... ten days or you test negative like twice or something yeah. like that. If, if you test negative in a twenty twice in a twenty four hour span, you get to come back. Huh. But the thing is, it's like if people don't come back early, doesn't that mean they have it? Yeah, <laughs> most likely. Yeah. So that means Levine right now. Unless they're that, that fucking lazy for some reason. <laughs> yeah. But it is what it is, you know. I think the NBA. I think eventually, like, they will take some time off and be back and mm. back to. I, I don't know, Levine. I don't think take time off, but I could see it. Speaking of, sp- what'd you say, Bino? Huh? You Speaking of Levine, is, is he even is he even the second best player on the team? I don't oh, know. No, no, we haven't. That boy, that boy, we, that we boy Lonzo, time, my no boy, Lonzo, been Okay, shut up, shut up. We have one bro. We have more time. It's a eighty. Eighty's out for a week or not a week, a month. A month. Fraud. Man. It's been a rough. It's been a rough season for AD. Bro. Month. Hey, look, count it. This month, record-wise, will be the best month the Lakers have this season. Hey, I, I'm not gonna lie. Mark if, my words. If that happens, bro, I'm on the trade AD. I'm on the trade AD train, bro. <laughs> trade him, bro. This will be the best month records-wise the Lakers have. Mark Tyler, my words. Trade him. Trade him for a shooting big, bro. That look disgraceful. Nah, bro. Hey, we about to hit up the Pacers. You can have AD give us Miles Turner. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to okay, go that far. I want to go that far. Ross Turner, Brogdon, TJ Warren, all of them. Oh, we'll take the whole. It. We'll take your whole roster, for Anthony Davis. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna look like that, though. To be honest, I mean, yeah, he's not worth all that. But to me, I think um, I'm gonna just keep it real. Uh, Anthony Davis, the whole thing with him like being traded, I don't think. I think AD honestly just has a load on his plate. Pause with a. What? What are you looking at me like that, Darius? <laughs> <laughs> I think he has too much of a load with the defensive end. Like it just gasses him. Like if you look at what they're doing, like they they don't have a lot of point of attack defenders, and the guys that are supposed to be point of attack defenders are not doing their job. Kent Bazemore is trash. Avery Bradley is not as good as he was back in the day on defense. He's average at best, and I mean at best. A lot of times he's bad. Um, his off ball defense sucks. Um, then you got Westbrook, who off ball is just horrendous. One of the worst off ball players I think I've ever seen in my entire life. On ball, he's okay at times. Okay. And I kind of use that word lightly. Um, and then, like, the rest of everybody just sucks. Like, Malik Monk sucks on defense. Uh, Wayne Ellington is just there to be cooked. Um, Dwight Howard is just there to foul when he's there. Um, and then DeAndre Jordan, do I even have to say anything? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and like LeBron, I'll be real with you. Someone that we need to be pointing the finger at on the defensive side, not getting enough blame is LeBron. LeBron's been stepping it up over the last couple of uh, games, like that. But earlier in the season, he was not doing shit on defense, man. And I think AD, like, with AD's injury history, like, how can you not give him help on defense? How can you just expect him to fucking pull, uh, a, like, a Rudy Gobert? Like, I don't think really- anyone has a problem. Davis defense because he's still been no, a top defender this season. No, no, no. People are coming at his defense, yo. People I've are like, people- okay, no, okay. They're like, let me they're, correct, criti- let me- they're, they're, they're like more. They're like criticizing his. They're, like one- they're criticizing it. his one-on-one defense with like when he was banging down low with cat type shit. Yeah, that, that was tough. Like that was the. Oh yeah, cat was though. bitching him. Facts. A cat, cat was bitching him, but cat was having a better. Bro, day I'm not even gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Cat was not bitching. No, he yes, exactly. Yes, no. Thank you. No, he no, was. He had that one it's play. The same, it's, the same, it's the same cat that can't push anybody, so he just hooks it up and it goes in, bro. Thank swear. you, bro. He's not bitching anybody, Thank bro. You, bro. <laughs> I swear, Cat was just making shots that he can't. He's not a good post up player. We know that. No fact, he just, bro. He's not he Shaq, bro. Like he's not moving like, Anthony Davis. Like, bro. Congrats. He was making shots on AD in a couple plays. Congrats. But making shots, making one shot on LeBron and making, like, a couple of shots on DeAndre Jordan, which everybody makes shots on DeAndre Jordan. That means nothing to me. But I know he has some moments on AD and he did the whole bit. The fact that Cat said too little as if, like, I think Cat's older than AD or something. Or Cat's, like, a year or no, two Kat, younger. No, Cat is younger than AD. But, but, like, a year or two. It's, like, two years. And this nigga is telling another man that's older than him, yeah, you're too little. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. But... Still, hey, like, man, Brandon Ingram. Brandon here's the Ingram, thing. Man. Here's the thing, man. Uh, LA, man. I, 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 I mean, 80s defense, it's regressed, but it's not like a significant difference. And I don't think it's that big of an issue for me. Um, cause, and one thing I said before this, this season started is like, even despite me having them like pretty high, like I was high on them, I didn't really like the l- roster construction that much. I just thought the, the big three was just good enough for them to get like a lot of wins. Um, Westbrook, LeBron, AD. All elite players, all at least, those are three at least top 30 players. I said top 30. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, not like, the, the role players, I think, are completely ass in my opinion. Like, I don't like a lot of these role players on this team. It's not AD's fault on the defensive end, in my opinion. What I have a problem with AD, though, is that, listen, I get it that he's, he's soft. Not, not even just that. Like, I don't know how it's possible. It has to be a mental thing at this point because it's legit. Kind of reminding me like Ben Smith type shit. Eighty, like mentally, I think from a shooting perspective, like he, he's completely lost it, bro. Mid range, <laughs> fucking three point shot. Mm-hmm. Even his free throws regressed. I don't know. Yeah, what's he's going shooting on. like mid seventies or something, right? Lower. Uh, low seven? Yeah, see, that's just horrendous. Yeah, bro. That's so, not good. And usually he shoots like eighty something. So mm-hmm. he used to be money at the free throw line. Yeah. And remember the days where uh, AD purposely missed a free throw in the All Star game just to make the next one. Like I think he went to, like I think he said like oh I was just building 
uh, drama so I can m- make the next one. You don't remember wanna, that game? I wanted, him I, to, I wanted him to miss both so bad, bro. I, don't I did too. <laughs> was it was the first one that went after Kobe had passed when they changed the rules. Yeah, because it was it was in his hometown, I think. Right? It was in Chicago. Right, it was like it was like in the fourth quarter, the first team to hit this certain score wins the game. Yeah, that one. That, and like and that, and remember, remember that was a game that like they actually played defense in the fourth quarter, and that shit was good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Th- those last couple minutes, that was so live. I'm not, that was fun. That was fun. And then afterwards, uh, Giannis was like, yeah, you know, we were just looking for whoever James Harden was guarding. Uh, I was like, this nigga is such a hoe for that. Uh, but it is what it is. AD, my, hopefully he gets his shit together. My point is, like, uh, AD even offensively has not been that good. And I'll be honest, like, you, you can make the argument. I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> you, you can make the argument that, uh, yeah, a lot of his defense, the reason, well, main reason why it regressed is because – he has no like good defenders around him, really. Like, let's be honest. But the offense hasn't been good either. Like, it's been pretty ass from eighty like usual self. First so, standards. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I I don't really see any excuse. Um, eighty, uh, he's always made a glass. He's always made a glass. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, yeah. eighty is just a very frustrating player, in my opinion. I think he'd be way better than what he is. Um. Yeah, I don't. It's just. A, nah, I, I, I feel you. I I think the thing with AD is like, I I just think people get the got their expectations up a little too high after the bubble about how good of a player he actually was. You know what I'm saying? Like like he's not a consistent mid range shooter. He hasn't been that since like 2017. You know what I'm saying? He isn't. He he he, he isn't like. Oh my God, LeBron. He isn't somebody that uh, loves physicality. He doesn't even like to play the center. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not the perfect player. I think the idea of Anthony Davis is better than how good he actually is. And I think that until yeah. until people start realizing that, they, they're going to keep expecting things like God, the to, so a nice. great mid-range shooter. Yeah, I'm seeing it. But like they're gonna, until people realize that the idea better than he actually is they're going to keep expecting him to be this great mid-range shooter like the bubble they're going to keep expecting him to be this great or this good stretch five when he's not they're gonna be saying ad why can't you play the center why are you struggling against physicality well there's a reason he doesn't like to play that shit you know what i'm saying so like at the end of the day anthony davis expectations were just too high for how good of a player he actually was. Like, I never thought Anthony Davis was better than LeBron, Curry, Kevin Durant, Giannis, even Harden at his prime, Westbrook when he was in his MVP season, or Kawhi. And if you want to remove Harden and Russ, that's still five guys I named. Kawhi, Steph, LeBron, KD, and uh, who did I miss? LeBron, Steph, Kawhi, KD, somebody else I'm missing. Right? You said Westbrook? Even No, Giannis. Giannis. Oh, Giannis. Um, and, and even Jokic, when Jokic hit his peak. I think Jokic passed him up. I even said this kind of aged poorly because they faced each other in the playoffs that year. But I even said in the bubble that I thought Jokic was a better player than him, you know, because I I just thought Jokic playmaking was that like that much of the difference between the lack and defense. You know what I'm saying? And then um, in like AD did what he did. And I was like, you know, I'll give AD because I valued what he did in the postseason. But then the next year it was over. Jokic won the MVP. And that conversation was over. Then Embiid, you know, we saw what he did last year. That conversation was over. Players were just passing it by. Luca did what he did. He that that conversation was over. And now, like AD is like around like the Dame range. He's almost in the Dame range. And like, if you said that shit like five years ago to somebody, they'd be like, "What? <laughs> Damian Lillard is around the same." They would have thought Damian Lillard climbed up, but no, Dame, AD just fell that low. I have a question. You know, hey man, die. he's on. He's on. He's on that uh, Paul George, Damian Lillard tier, man. I'm not, I'm not the biggest AD fan, fan, but like, where, where did you rank AD in 2018 after the postseason? 2018. That was the year they beat Dame, right? Yeah, they swept him. Oh, he probably was top. I mean, he was top Kawhi, 10. Didn't, Kawhi didn't I think play that year. Top ten. Yeah, I, I was gonna say Kawhi didn't play that year. So because Kawhi didn't play that year, he might be number. He's, I think I think he was top five that year. So like you have KD. I don't think Giannis was better than him that year. 
Um, you have KD because you have KD. You got LeBron, Steph, KD, Curry. LeBron, Cur- yeah, K- oh. KD, LeBron, Curry. Um, Harden. Harden. Harden, yeah. Yeah, Harden won MVP that yeah. year. And then that, AD would probably be fifth. Yeah, AD is probably fifth. So. Yeah. And then, but that's the thing, though. Like, even in the years that AD was in my top five and he was number five, it was somebody, other people in the top five was out. So that's why that one time that we had that space and everybody was like, oh, I could have swore you just said AD was, it's not, a, he's not really a real top yeah. five player. He isn't a real top five player. He gets there when other people get injured. Like 2018, no Kawhi. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 2019, or the bubble, there was no KD. It's just, it's just disappointing. You know no it's just disappointing because you, you, like, you look at AD's potential. Like, he could, like, I remember there were times in my life, this is like back in middle school, I remember there was times I'm like, man, AD, AD, I heard kids talk in my class, like, AD could be the best player in the world one day. Like, mm-hmm. That's his ceiling. It is his ceiling. Remember the poll? Hey, all I, I know is yeah. they was making those polls. When they was making those polls mm-hmm. and shit back then, I was never a believer. Oh, uh, you're speaking. I, AD, I was AD never a believer. I used to be a believer in, like, when I was in high school. Granted, at that time, I didn't know. Well, I didn't know, like, stats like but that. I was, I was a Russ fan back then. So what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> no, back, back then, like, I remember, like, when AD first got in the man, one day he's going to be the best player in the league. I just know it. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you see what they're doing, and then I like I would see AD have these great games. And I remember 2015, right? Granted, I was 15 years old. You know, I wasn't even into stats the way I am now. I wasn't breaking down the game like that. There were certain par- parts of the game I did. I thought defense was only one on one defense at the time. I was still <laughs> in that phase. You know what I'm saying? So like there was a lot of things about basketball I didn't know. But at that time, I was like, man, AD might be the best player in the NBA, bro behind LeBron and Curry and all these guys, he's in that tier. That's what I thought. But then, like, when I got older and I started realizing, like, damn, like, there are guys that are better than Anthony Davis that, like, he just kind of hasn't surpassed yet. He, doesn't, he hasn't done enough to surpass them. The fact that niggas thought that AD was on – niggas were saying he was the second best in the league after teaming up with LeBron and winning a championship. Like, Kawhi. Yeah, that Katie, shit was Steph, wild. I'm not going to lie. Harden. I never even hopped Harden. train. I never hopped in that train. Yeah. They all could have done that. They all the only person that you could say couldn't have done that that was was probably like Russ because they, Russ they kept don't fit. they kept they kept saying man two two, two. first of all yes they do watch watch the Lakers play right now anyways yeah, um, <laughs> yeah that's a good one bro <laughs> anyways uh, what's 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 funny I mean like the Lakers are <laughs> kind of getting have, blown have, out right now I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Oh no, that's because THT was on the court. Now he's off. But no, <laughs> okay. I think, uh, I think <laughs> Thomas is on the court, so that that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, bro, it don't look like it's, it's changing much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. But um, <laughs> it looks like the Lakers be uh, going for yeah, some. Bro, Anthony ball, AD. Balls, people, know? people suck him up. Oh, the Lakers have two top five players. No, they don't, nigga. No, they don't. <laughs> two maybe, top maybe, five maybe, players? maybe because Curry was out. <laughs> KD was out. They got two top five players, but I remember, on, bro. I remember in 2015, this was like seventh or eighth grade. I can't remember, but I remember like one of my friends told that came up to me. He's like, yeah, I think, I think it is like a top three player right now. And I was like, what? <laughs> I, I think hey, that, that was the, that was the really year KD went out, right? Yeah. I think KD was out. Westbrook won scoring title. Yeah. See, see you, but you see what I'm saying now? Like it's like whenever yeah, AD it's gets some injury, here, it's always somebody's injury. hurt. So he's not our true top five player. He's just been a top five player in seasons that he bit, bit he benefited from the ranking that he got due to injuries or LA hype. Because let's be honest, even though he had that great run, I don't I still didn't think he was better than Giannis. Like I genuinely did not believe he was better than Giannis. Giannis was going out there in the playoffs, in the bubble, playing with fucking Eric Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe was on his team in the playoffs. Like, I swear, because it's, it's not just the offense. People just hear the offense with Bledsoe. But if you watch his defense being cooked by Terry Rozier, being cooked by Kyle Lowry, being cooked by Tyler Hero and Goran Dragic, I swear his defense falls off even harder than his offense. They looked confused in the bubble. Him and Middleton and Wesley Matthews, when they faced the Heat, they looked confused the they were falling for basic pin downs basic off ball screens and then people were seeing the shit Giannis was dealing with and then they'll be like ah oh, ad's better because he, he had that great playoff run 
with LeBron. He was with LeBron James. How can you say the best player in the world? How can you say another guy teamed up with him, won a championship, and you already had them both as top 10 players, and then all of a sudden, hey, that means he's better than KD. That means he's better hey, than KD. Hey, I guess, hey, I guess Kyrie, hey, I guess after that 2016 run, my nigga Kyrie, hey, my nigga was out there top seven. Like he's <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was saying that. Exactly. Nobody was saying Now, granted, to be fair, AD was playing better than Kyrie was in playoffs and everything. But nonetheless, oh, no. like, 20, 28 points per game in the finals. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, hey, one, what was of the biggest, hey one of the big, hey, one of the biggest shots of all time. Yeah, that 41 point game was a ring. Kyrie did have a. Who had a, ring. Who had a ring at the time? Facts. Hey, who won a real ring? Kyrie or AD, bro? That's a fact. That's all I have to say. It's <laughs> a fact. But now nah, let's. Let's go. Let's on chat before the Lakers Laker fans come at us. Yeah, bro. Yeah, let's go on to the next. All right, the next topic. Is DeMar DeRozan the best player in the Bulls? Let's be real. Right now, yes, he is. DeMar DeRozan is the best player on the season, Bulls. Yes, he is. If I'm talking about DeMar DeRozan has been the better playmaker. Oh. He's been more consistent. He's been he, in the fourth quarters. He's he, he hits the clutch shots. I'm not saying I'm not saying it'll end. Well, right now, if there's an MVP ballot, it's DeMar like, DeRozan like is me, for sure it's not really cool. over Zach Levine, bro. For sure. It's like, it's like uh, well, let me, uh, well, let me say this. To everybody out there, I am a Bulls fan. So, you know, they're really, I guess, I was going to say I'm biased, but, like, these are both guys on the Bulls. So, I, there's no way I'd be biased here. But I am a little bit more, like, favorited towards Zach since he's been there, for, like, you know, from day one. Well, not from day one. But you know what I mean? Like, after the post-ACL injury he had. Um, but the thing is, I love DeMar. DeMar's been having a great season best year of his career you know what i'm saying um now i've always thought demar was capable of playing like like i've always thought like that even in san antonio he wasn't playing with the best spacing like people forget that he wasn't playing with the best spacing and he was still one of the most efficient scorers in the nba and one of the most clutch players in the league also so i've always known he's capable of doing this you know so I, like when i was saying that online like i was saying i think i tweeted that i was like oh demar's always been capable of playing like this. He just hasn't been in the best situation with the best spacing. But this time, this year, he's playing with a point guard like Lonzo, who, unlike Darius, yes, he is a shooter. All right? Mm. He's a real shooter. All right. Darius was sitting there saying, I don't trust Lonzo's jumper. Get out of here. I I still don't. You get out of here, bro. I'm saying, bro, bro, how do you not? Whatever, we move. Uh, But he has a, a stretch five in Vooch. You know what I'm saying? Who ever since he's been back, he's shooting like forty something percent from three. Now I think on the season he's shooting like thirty four, thirty five percent. But over the last like couple of weeks, he's been really shooting well. Um, you have also Zach Levine, who's one of the best shooters in the league. Zach Levine, let me tell you this right now, bro. This is why I think Levine's better, and it's close. Like I think Levine's one A, DeRozan is one B. But the thing to Melo, the thing to me is like. Uh, Levine is the better floor spacer. Teams literally game plan mainly for Zach Levine because you can put a one-on-one guy on DeRozan and sure, he's going to hit some tough shots, but because it's the mid-range game, like it's easier to defend that. I think it's easier to defend that, in my opinion. You that is not saying? true because DeMar DeRozan be getting to the free throw line like seven times a game. Because they oh, can't no, but, start that but that's, that's naturally because he's a great scorer. Like I said, he's going to get his regardless. But Levine's gonna get his too. Levine is gonna get his too, and it's you. You'd rather take your chances with the mid-range jumper than Levine getting hot from three. Let's be real. We seen this nigga hit ten threes in a game. Levine, when he gets hot from three, you know it's wraps. It's over. LeBron, it like? LeBron is down. He is down. It's, he is in he'll pain. Get, he'll get up. He'll get up. It's always the same shit. But you're, you're watching. It's, okay, it's, you're ahead of me. It's the ankle. His it's, ankle it's is the hurting. Same shit. I promise you, he, he he always does this yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. but yeah, whenever his ankle gets hurt, he's Superman. So I, uh, yeah, he always like fakes. He always like over exaggerates. Like ah, it's like it's literally like Peter Griffin. <laughs> Peter Griffin meme. So he does. But he really ah, just ties up his shoes and he's like, all right, I'm good. Ah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm seeing it now. Just fast forward the stream. But yeah, I think Levine is the better player. I think Levine. Uh, he's the better floor spacer. Playmaking, Levine has actually been doing really well well this year as a playmaker. 
DeRozan has been better. Yeah, DeRozan's been better. DeRozan is a DeRozan is a better playmaker for sure, but Levine is based on what they've done this year as playmakers, I think Levine has been like close in my personal opinion. I also think Levine like the scoring gap it really isn't that much, but I think Levine's been the better scorer due to his ability to three shoot the three ball. That's why I be, that that's what I believe. And defensively, Levine has actually been neutral to positive. DeRozan's been bad. DeRozan is not all a good right, defender, all right, bro. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. How how can you say Zach has been the better scorer when Levine and when Demar averages more points on better efficiency? Who cares uh, about his three? Who cares right, about his three point percentage? Go look up. He's, no, no. Scoring uh, more points. Serious, serious. Go look up their true shooting because I could have swore it's probably the no, same. No, Zach, Zach Levine's is like 1% higher. Yeah, so like the three-point shooting it's, makes it's, up for it. DeMar, DeMar is averaging more points on less shots, though. Bro, the I mean, shots it's like, it's like, like, it's like, like 0.6 more shots, but still. Yeah, it ain't that much. Yeah. It's still, they, that's still, that's still they, both 19, they both shoot 19 shots a game, bro. I, I just think that it is it is impressive because he's taking the mid-range. I, they're both taking tough shots. So, like, their efficiency, I think their efficiency is the same. I think as scores, Levine is the better score because he can attack you in the mid-range and the three. But All right, DeMar, bro, who's been closing games for that, my nigga? They both okay. I mean, they both have, but Demar, bro. Okay, DeMar but has, has, hey, is Kyrie better than LeBron? Is no, Kyrie but we're talking, than... no, bro. But okay, but there's a there's clear a, there's gap. A difference. There's, there's, I don't know why you brought that up. Now, yeah. I don't know why you brought that one up. <laughs> fine, fine. But like, is Chris okay, Middleton better okay. than Giannis? Head I was about to say, is Middleton <laughs> better than Giannis? <laughs> hey, Loki. I mean, Gobel's maybe on or something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I think, I think, and also the thing is. We know Levine is clutch, bro. Like, we've seen Levine hit shots. Like, you know, I've seen Levine step up in the fourth. You know what I'm saying? I just think if you see a lot of the clutch moments, like, in the fourth quarter, Levine will get the ball. They'll run him up at the three-point line, double him, and then, obviously, he'll hit some tough-ass shot. Or hey, I, be, you know what I see? DeMar, and DeMar will hit some tough-ass one-on-one like one one shot. You know, like hey, you know what I see? I see, I see Billy Donovan dr- Drawing up plays for Demar Derozan. That's what I see. Uh, but then like again, hey, hooper, hey, but hold on. I will say though, Billy Donovan has a history of drawing up plays for the wrong player, a la Westbrook over Paul George. <clears throat> just, I'm just saying. Is that really so. Billy, or is that worse? Uh. <laughs> hey man. Hey, all I know is Frank Vogel be giving the ball to LeBron. <laughs> yeah. hey, all I, <laughs> hey, yo, I, I just want to say something, bro. First of all, I, I just want to say something. Yo, that hey, last, all I gotta that say last is Mike Antoni gave the ball to James Harden. That last Lakers game, people <laughs> criticized Westbrook for that like one shot at the end. Oh my god! I, I'm like, bro, he played fine, and he was like, he was... <laughs> he hit that one clutch corner three anyway. <laughs> yeah, he was he was doing well until that moment. Like he he missed one shot in the clutch. Like oh well, like. And he's actually he actually got the game winning assist. And... You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, nigga, the, no, 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 game? not not that game. The Bulls, the Bulls game, bro. Oh, when, Bulls he, game. when Westbrook yeah, missed game. the layup on ah, ah, that was wild. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. That was a bad play. It was, uh, bad, but, it, yeah, but he was still playing well. Yeah, he was playing yeah, well. Like I, I, people, I one thing I'll, I'll admit, like I, I am not the biggest Russell Westbrook fan, but I will admit this: I absolutely hate when people, um, like blame Westbrook because <laughs> Westbrook be having some pretty embarrassing moments in the fourth quarter. Let's bro, I know. I, I didn't see I didn't see anyone say anything about LeBron. Yeah, or 80 um, or 80. LeBron turn, no, I'm saying LeBron turning the ball over in the corner of the possession before that that led to a buck out the end because the Lakers yeah, couldn't no, get a rebound. Like, I didn't see, any, like, I didn't see like anything like about Westbrook, that. Hey. All the blame goes to Westbrook. <laughs> and if, if not Westbrook, then some trash ass role player. Mm-hmm. Which, which they deserve, which they do deserve, by the nah, way. Nah, the crazy, the craziest, the craziest thing I've seen is when I, when I see motherfuckers talk about we uh, Westbrook this, Westbrook that, and they're talking about Isaiah Thomas is what we needed. Shut the fuck up, bro. Shut um, the, yo, stop bro, it, bro. Let's be real. I've seen so many Laker fans saying, no, no, not not even Laker fans. It's kind of it's kind of like the content creators, the people with clout, the people with clout be saying some say dumb shit. Say their names. Because real names. Laker fans, hey nigga, Cash Nasty, Max, <laughs> and nigga, yo, yo, I, I say names. I don't care, bro. Cash Nasty, you wild. Like casuals, bro. My man, bro. my man, oh, really man. said the Isaiah. Casuals, the casuals, bro. The casuals. I, hey, I, if like, you want to hate on Russ, like now, nah, if you're gonna hate on Russ for his turnover, that's cool. Now saying Isaiah Thomas is what the Lakers need, bro. Come on, bro. You you have you to be down serious. bad, bro. <laughs> Serious, bro. <laughs> I haven't heard Cash Nasty's name in years, bro. Holy shit! Hey, bro. 
I understand you only want to watch LeBron, and that's fine, bro. But hey, I'm that, bro, the game, the game, literally the Mavericks game, they reacted to it, and they were like, yo, Westbrook, he's been so bad, so bad, so bad, saying that the whole game. And I was like, bro, how did you even watch the game? Because mm. there's no way. All, all the you know, you know what's crazy? Bro. Uh, man, IT just fell off of a normal pick, and they make a shot. IT is so trash. But uh, to me, bro. Um, they gave up on me, man. I think <laughs> they gave up on me. Uh, but and they, they gave up on content, him again. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of bad content creators, uh, Max is nice. Y'all saw that video of death. That shit was unfunny. Wait, Max fun, is nice as um, what's that one? Oh yeah, that's the, the guy. The the guy. guy. Yeah, I hate I hate this dude so much, bro. I hate this dude yeah. so much. He's so he's the most unfunny. He's the unfunniest person I've ever seen on the internet, bro. <laughs> like, and it's crazy because like. How did he NBA blow up? Actually, than like that, that shit. How do they like? I, I don't understand, dude. They don't actually know. Like, if we're being honest, they don't actually watch that shit. They just see it every now and then on the TL, and they're like, "That's Rex," and they just think it's funny. They drop, they do a little quote. Cool, you know, they try to be active on. Probably think that everybody watches. Probably think that everybody loves his videos and shit. But like, didn't he just get jumped like two weeks ago? I don't. know. He got robbed. I, I have say so he said you're hungry. I'm buying some subway. He got, he got robbed. robbed in LA. Yeah, Karma. that was tough. I'm chill. Serious. But getting back to the the topic, bro. Levine is the better player. I think he's the best player on our team. Um, I think when you just see how opposing teams guard us or guard him. Um, you know, he's he's clearly the best player on our team. But hey, it is what it is. Um, I know DeRozan's having a stellar year. He's probably going to finish higher in the MVP race. Uh, but let me ask y'all this: Do y'all think either of them are? You cut out. I said, uh, do you think either of them are top ten players? Uh, Lamar, season, easily. I, I, I think I think <laughs> both of them are actually top ten this year. Yeah, they they both might. They both a lot of a lot yeah. of injuries taking players out. Like I like Ja was in there, but I wouldn't put him in there now because he's missed too many games. So yeah, then I ja, just put someone, ja I put someone else in there. I'd see P, I'd say PJ PG was top five, but then he PJ got Tucker. hurt. And <laughs> speaking of Ja, did y'all? Then he, he fell he, off. He said PJ. But speaking of PJ, PJ Jones that PJ one, bro. I had to take advantage of that. Oh, did y'all see um? Uh, speaking of Ja, did y'all see what he said about that fan that told him uh, you need to go back out? Yeah, like, I heard uh, about that. And he said he like he got sad about it or something like that. And he had to go off social um, media over it. So yeah, I can I, I can kind of get. That. He's probably heard shit worse than that though. Like, yeah, I feel like, I'm, I'm, like if I'm an NBA player, I've heard way worse. I've probably heard way worse than that. Like, he, he said he said usually that shit fuel, but like when it, when they said it, it kind of like hurt. But like, I yeah, think it's I mean, how's it, how's it look? Your team, your team blew the thunder out by seventy. You come back and you lose. I mean, I ain't. that's that's facts. And you know, hey, if I looked at that hey, line, I look, hey, listen, back, I looked at their schedule, and they could dead ass go on like a five game losing streak who, with him who just coming the Grizzlies? back. Hey, hold on, I can pull it up. The Grizzlies. Yes, bro. Oh, we're gonna definitely hold push on. the agenda. We're definitely pushing the agenda. Pushing the agenda. <laughs> we're pushing the agenda, bro. <laughs> Love, the love, job love. makes the worst agenda. Yes, bro. And next, next they got the Warriors. They got the Canes. They can win that game. Then they got the Suns, the Lakers, <laughs> um, the Spurs, the Nets, the Cavs. So, <laughs> hey, I'm definitely gonna watch that. Really gonna push the agenda. <laughs> yeah, that we're definitely gonna push the agenda. <laughs> ah, that's a fact. The, the Darius, I need Darius Garland to drop thirty that game. Watch yeah, at least. Watch, watch their. One of them are like, bro. Oh, I protocol. finally I thought so we were pissed. gonna get. I finally thought we were gonna get the Darius Garland thirty point game. He had he had like eighteen points in one of those first halves, and then he finished the game with like twenty four. I was like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, he's not the Bucks. They, they, I don't even know what yeah. game. <laughs> but they have mouths to feed. Like like he can go off, and then because like he'll start getting even more attention, he'll use that attention to do a, some easy lob to Jared Allen or. Hey, man, I was assuming but, if these yeah. players are back. Kevin, hey, Kevin Love and Laurie Markkinen have been playing good basketball. Not Laurie. No, not Laurie. Not Laurie. <laughs> no, he sucks. Laurie's man. been pretty ass. Laurie's an ass. Bro, but to be fair, Laurie's shooting a lot better than he did in the... Laurie in shot defense, over still, 7 yep. last game. Hey, my, my Kevin team. Love. Didn't Kevin Love had like a 25-point yeah, second Kev, half yeah. or some shit like that? Yeah, Bro, Kevin, I, I Kevin Love's been playing it. good. Kevin Love's been playing good. 
Hey, what about uh, Lari's defense? Has it been holding up? It's fine. Or is yeah. it? It's not yeah. that bad. It's just. I mean, it's when, just you have, when you offense have, is when you have, yeah. not supposed to be. He's shooting thirty three. When you get bailed out, you know it's all right. Yeah, I about to say it, it, he's probably being helped by those twin towers. Like yeah, if we're being honest, uh, yeah, I don't think Lowry's actually that good. He's a great, he's a t- defender, but I think having those twin towers probably makes him yeah, look I a think lot. I, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, but it is what it uh, is. All right, but I, th- I agree with that. For me, although I, hopefully when those two players play John Garland, let's keep it up. We're pushing it, bro. We're pushing it. Oh, we're pushing the agenda for sure. <laughs> yeah. The narrative, the narrative. Who must will be, be an all star? Who will be an all star? All I know is hey. someone, one of them's gonna be an all star this year. <laughs> hey, let me tell you this, Darius. That you I hope you find the clip of you going on the pod and saying, Hey, what's yeah. the gap between Ja and Darius Garland? Right? <laughs> and then I get kicked and off they, the pod they immediately. Kick you off the pod. And I remember going after it, I was like, Oh, why'd y'all shut my nigga out like that? Y'all don't think DG that nigga like What's what's the problem? And then they're like, "Oh, talk to us when he's on a winning team, <laughs> and wow. now he's on a better team look than the Grizzlies." <laughs> I'm just mm. saying, bro. Look like Darius Garland's leading his team. Yeah, bro. Man. Oh, but no. it is. It is. Omar, be is saying, he, he, Omar be saying he should be out the league, bro. He's a troll. He said what? Darius yes, Garland should yes, be out the league. Yes, he said that multiple times. Oh, he's, he's, a <laughs> he's a troll. Yeah, he's a troll. He's trolling. He's trolling. Because there's no way he believes that. <laughs> he, though he said um, he was like, you know, Gone can have this 30 point game, but like, man, bro, he be having games where he sh- like. Oh my god, eight Isaiah points. Thomas, you suck. Eight points. <laughs> yeah, he, bro, I, 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 I did oh research. There's never been a point in this season where he had eight points. I was gonna, what? What is he talking about? Yeah, he's just he's Darius just Garland. Line. <laughs> last year, no. last year, Darius Garland was a consistent hey. like seventeen. No, he's talking about this season. He's talking about this season. This season? Yeah, I, I've never oh, seen. Bro. I've never no. seen. Wait, what? listen, listen, hold on, hold on. We have to interrupt the pod for this. We have to. What? We have to, bro. So I think it's Iron Eagle who's on, or I don't know who's on the call right now, bro. Is that the mix <laughs> reason, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't know who's on the call right now, but. Trevor Ariza just kind of like pickpocketed Devin Booker, and he's like, Trevor Ariza, the Lakers' best defender. <laughs> and that's kind of that's horrible, bro. Anthony Davis is on the roster, bro. <laughs> well, AD's not playing right now, so to be bro, fair, he probably is the best defender right now. <laughs> hey, man, it's LeBron. I don't care. It's oh, LeBron. Yeah, yeah. It's just when LeBron, he, when he's bro. trying. When he's trying, yeah. Hey, the lowest. THT has two points, one for nine. This season was nine points. But yeah, he's never had an eight. And and, I, and that was an and that was in a blowout win, wasn't it? It was against the Nuggets. It was kind of a blowout, yeah. Yeah, man. man. Cast play, man. Or or, or you guys play? Or y'all play Celtics, y'all? Yeah, bro? I already know, bro. I, I'm just telling y'all niggas already. Y'all, I've told Omar this, bro. He is a casual. He is yes, a casual. Bro. He is he is not a real fan. <laughs> if that nigga actually watches games, I didn't believe. Have he watches Hawks games and that's it. Like he does not watch anything other. Because I remember when he said Jeff Teague was a top five point guard in the league at a point in time. What? That's fucking. Wait, what? Behavior. Wait, was that? Wait. He, said that. he said that. Like the year Wait, they won sixty I, games I, or some uh, shit. He I think. I think. I think he he backed out of that though. Did he? Because I, I talked to him on like the pod was, about uh, that. I talked to him on the on the. I talked to him I, like when we were on Twitter. Five better before. point guards than him. What the fuck? Yeah. I just don't understand that, honestly. But it is what it is. Hey, man. Um, Omar can watch that shit team of basketball in that. The Hawks garbage now, bro. Hey, man. I think they'll, be better. they'll the, be better, though. When the Celtics don't make the playoffs this year, there's going to be Hawks a lot of reports about the Hawks, breaking it up. The Hawks have to hey, make a trade. On the Hawks, I seen, I seen someone post this on the timeline. Hit up the Pelicans about Brandon Ingram. I like that shit. I'll be honest. Bro. I like that shit. Do y'all Hit think, up the Pelicans. How's Dang. that possible? Who, who would they... Moving in that package, both their wings, Gallinari. They got they got contracts to match. They got young assets. They have their picks. They can make a I deal. Think, I don't think the Pelicans would give up on Ingram. They don't need Ingram. They you don't. No, it's not. It's not. They it's not giving Ingram. up. It's just. It's not giving up necessarily. I mean, to be just, fair, to be fair, they do need the defense. They, no, they, they need, need the defense. Cam Reddish. Issue. Like, like, Cam Reddish. Like, look, Cam Reddish, DeAndre Hunter, Gallinari for contract filler. They're one of the worst defenses in the league, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, it's not like Bi makes them better defensively, but I just like Trey Young, Kevin Herter, or Bogdanovich. Everyone you want to start, 
than B.I., John Collins, and Clint Capella? That's a squad, no cap. I know. I mean, like, what is that going to improve for them, though? What are, hey, man. Who, for the Hawks? Yeah. Like, I mean, but they're gonna have that. They're gonna have that team for years to come, either way. So it's not like it's a one year, one year thing. Bi's on the contract, Trey's on the contract, John Collins. And I, and I and I think Bi would be a better defender in that team on that team because I think ever since he's gone to New Orleans, he's been like this like negative on defense because he has like more of a load. But if he paused, but if he goes to Atlanta, like with less like responsibility defensively. He's gonna be able to. Um, is it? Hold on. Is it less responsibility defensively? Because when you think about it, De- uh, DeAndre Hunter is supposed to pick up the best, the best player on another team. Yeah, I mean, but I, I so, feel more comfortable because Ingram's already doing that. But I feel more comfortable with Ingram doing that on a team where he has Clint Capella in the paint, so and he has true. you know things like that. So around you think him. the Hawks should just like go be mid and like just focus on the long term? I think it's yeah. okay. The reason why it's still a long term move is Brandon Ingram is still young, isn't he? How old is he? I don't even know. He's like 24, 25. That's young enough. And by the way, you mentioned DeAndre Hunter. He's bro, Hunter forward. barely be playing anyway, bro. Yeah, um, bro. Let that nigga go, man. That nigga is so injury prone. And I still hey, believe in re- the reunite, play. reunite Cam Reddish with Zion. Let them <laughs> boys go. Let them boys go tank in New Orleans, dog. Like, fuck it. <laughs> Hey, what is Zion? Yeah, it's, 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 only like, it's only like two years before New Orleans isn't a team anymore anyway. I mean, so. I don't know. Zion, Zion might see Ingram get traded and be like, you know what? I'm really bad now. I'm done with this shit. Like, what if he does that shit? Bro, Zion's he's a, our, I wonder if I hear that name, I just get pissed off. <laughs> like, oh. Hey, man. All I, all, I, all I know is Josh Giddy gonna look real good in New Orleans. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> this guy here, bro. Hey. He's ready to give up Yo, I and say, ask fucking, give us Zion. Ask Zion? Bro. Yeah, 100%. I want to ask nah, we, hey, we gonna put We're going to put that nigga on a meal plan, bro. Duh. There's no, ain't, ain't nothing to eat in Oklahoma but fish, nigga. Ain't no, ain't no gumbo and, and jumbo. Ain't no, none of that. Hey, got, no cap. Do you think that Zion is a player that you trade like your best player for? Shay? Fuck no. <laughs> I no. don't know. Just keep Shay. Like, I'm just saying, I'm like, if I'm talking like, I was team, thinking, would you trade you Darius Garland or Evan Mobley for Zion right now? Evan Mobley, Darius? hell no, hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not Evan Mobley. No. I think it depends though, on, the, on the best player. Like, like say... Would you trade Levine or DeRozan for Zion right now? No. Uh, exactly. DeRozan, DeRozan, like, maybe next year if DeRozan were to fall off or... But no, but, he then he, but then he's not your best player. Yeah, he's not, yeah. Exactly. I'm not going to lie, bro. I think, I think Mobley could be, like... He might be better. I think he might be better next year, bro. I'm hey, so serious. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Jalen Jalen Brown for Anthony Davis works for both sides, bro. Jalen Brown will show up in the playoffs and actually All play. Right. You know what? Since y'all brought up Jalen Brown, I think that is officially the wrap up. Okay, time. okay. Hear me. Hear no, I want to. I want to ask. I want to ask something that. after this. <laughs> Why not, bro? Why not break up? Break up. Jalen Brown is better, bro. I mean, he I think just, they should break. They should break that up, but I don't think, bro. Y'all think that just because you trade Anthony Davis, problems just go away. If anything, that it makes it worse. You have no rim protector, bro. <laughs> Who's one. protecting the rim? Find one. one. Find one. <laughs> what? <laughs> like this nigga just thinks they grow improvise, on trees. Improvise. Like, bro, the, oh, it's uh, first of all, it's L.A. They can find anything, and it's true. <laughs> Oh, so he's, he's, literally he's, he's, he's being weird. It's literally true. All right, and, and, and anything, <laughs> no, 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 possible. Yeah, no, 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 no. First of all, first of all, okay, okay. Now hear me out. You don't, you don't think they could be like we also. Want <laughs> Whenever someone about. says now, hear me, hear me out. out. <laughs> they say something goofy, bro. Right, this is goofy for the Celtics to ask for Jalen Brown and Robert Williams. This is goofy. For the Celtics, okay. You think they're going to go Jalen and Robert Williams for Anthony Davis, who's better than both? Yes. I mean, okay. Okay, I actually don't like. I don't hate. And that then, game. and then you get AD. You still have Al Horford. Yeah, Jason Tatum. Yeah, get Marcus Smart out of there if you really want to win. But that's that's they. That's that had nothing to do with the Lakers. Hey, okay. What about this? AD and um. Okay, AD and probably somebody else. Because I mean, if you're gonna throw Marcus Smart in there, I think you. No, 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 no. Not in that man. deal. I'm saying if the Celtics actually want to win games, they have to get Marcus Smart out of there. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. For sure, yeah. Get that <laughs> nigga out of there. Hey, low-key, maybe just throw Wayne Ellington in there and then uh, you get a shooter if you're Boston. That's what uh, I would do. Who knows? But at that point, if you're the Lakers and you have those three and you have Robert... But AD, but no, I don't think that's going to work. You want to know why that's not Because I don't think AD... AD has already said he doesn't want to play in Boston. Remember, who, who, Remember that who shit cares? a long time ago? Who cares? He's he's under contract, my brother. I mean, I, I guess under hey, contract. I guess, but I feel up. like 
But you I and Jason like Tatum owners... from the East, bro. That's what they're going to tell him. But remember when the Celtics were rumored to trade for Anthony Davis and then his dad came out and then the, uh, Rich Paul said, yeah, don't even bother. But that, but totally. um, that's also that's also because, I mean, first of all, I don't care what Rich Paul has to say. If the Celtics included Jalen Brown, the talks would have advanced. But they but wouldn't like, include they wouldn't no, include no, Jalen Brown, bro. But it wasn't just that. Remember, AD's dad also. No, no, no. I remember all these rumors. But if you're in, yeah. if you're, if you want to win a championship, they don't give a fuck, nigga. <laughs> but but you also have to remember at the time, AD would have been a free agent after that year. That's why you don't do it. AD's under contract for four more years now. But also, it was because his dad said, "Uh, it how they did it, you know." He doesn't yeah, want to true. be associated with the. And I honestly oh, well. think, I honestly fix, think fix your son's like, knees, man, nigga. You want that nigga to stay in LA? <laughs> fix that nigga knees, his ankle, <laughs> his thighs. I'm telling you, I'm telling you he calves, needs the all knees. Of it, he needs the legs of Megan the Stallion, bro. Oh, I'm telling you. Man. Oh, man. I'm telling you, Megan THT. can get on her knees oh, and, and bad, throw that shit back, bro. I'm telling you, niggas like Demarcus Cut and Anthony wish they had the knees of Megan the Stallion, bro. That's not even a debate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, but I was looking I'm through playing. teams, and honestly, I don't know if there's that many teams that could trade the Lake or something they'd want for AD besides the Celtics, bro. So I don't think, obviously, I don't think it's happening. But let's just say AD misses the playoffs, the Celtics miss the playoffs the in Warriors. general. Make it happen. The what would the Warriors? Warriors, young guys, they're gonna trade their young guys. They could do that. Low key. I mean, why okay. Would, why would the <laughs> Lakers do that? Why would the Lakers do it though? Low key. Okay, low key. Okay, yeah. I don't know why the Lakers. Would do I, you could uh, Bro. what do the Lakers need anyway? They need off. They need offense, and they. I was going to say they the Wiggins in that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was so Wiggins, Wiggins, Wiseman, Moody, and low key Kaminga. I ain't gonna cap to you. Yeah, and Kaminga's LeBron and LeBron good. and LeBron is gonna be like we're gonna, LeBron is gonna be like we're gonna package all you young guys for for someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Who would that be though? It'd be it could be a three team deal. It could be a three team deal. Trade for Gobert. bear. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, hey let's come wrap the pot up. Make sure I have like, one more question. I have, I have the a TikTok question in the Instagram. Oh man, I was I was gonna nah, ask. Man. I was gonna ask. Uh, so I made a tweet earlier today. It's about Curry. I want y'all to be honest, bro. Oh. I want y'all to be honest. Where where do y'all rank Curry in the MVP race? Uh, Three, like after, third or after, after all this, like after all this type of like, oh, Curry's having his 2016 season again. Like, like oh my, THT sucks. Like, uh, nigga, airball the corner three after he's bricked so many threes today, bro. Oh, one for oh, 12? My. oh my god, dude, he's been so bad, Boss. bro. Yo, apparently nigga, was D- it was oh, D- I thought it was D Wade. I thought it was D Wade, bro. What happened? T Wade, bro. T Wade. I'm telling you, that shit is over. So y'all have a third. Oh my y'all god, have a third. LeBron, I, yeah, and we- probably... LeBron and Westbrook are just driving and kicking to these niggas to throw a brick. What do you guys have? I, I would say. I would say KD's over him, Jokic is over him. And outside of those two, I probably have Curry third. But I do think that Curry will probably I, I do think he will win it though. And the reason I think he will is because eventually Clay will be back and he'll be playing better. And we all know like those last two months of the MVP race matter a lot, yeah. especially when there's no clear definitive winner. You know I'm, what I'm, I'm saying? Like Giannis, Westbrook. Though. I think Giannis will win it still. Oh, Giannis. I smooth forgot about him because he did get hurt. Or no, COVID. Um, I smooth forgot about that. But the thing with Giannis is like, I still do think there are some people that have some stupid voter fatigue about him. Um, so that could affect him. But I think Giannis, it's crazy. Like Giannis, he, every year he's going to be guaranteed to put up MVP numbers. It's just about if the narrative is going to suit him. Yeah, it's always you know what I'm saying? narrative. Yeah, and it really kind of goes to show like, like maybe in the future, there's gonna be people that say, "Man, Giannis should have won MVP yeah, every year know, with yeah, these you, numbers." Yeah, you know who that who sounds like that. You know who like reminds me of that <laughs> LeBron, bro. And you know, how Le- yeah, every, I, I was about to say <laughs> LeBron, bro. Every time, every, everybody's like, "Man, if we were being, if there was no voter voter fatigue, LeBron would be the MVP every year, bro." Like, I mean, but low key, like he. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I mean, I don't know, cause like. I used to think that was like one like more boosted things, but like there are probably some years he should have won it. I disagree with it for a lot of years. Like 2015, should have won it. 2016, Curry should have won it. 2017, who won 2017? Uh, Russ. I mean, oh, yeah. no, he shouldn't have won it. He shouldn't have won it. I don't think Russ should have won it, but I think Harden should have. No, I was talking. Oh well, that too. But I was talking about LeBron too. I, I think mm-hmm. like 
I think during like LeBron's early years, you could argue it, like, um, like oh eight, oh seven, you could argue it, but like one of those Nash MVPs, I it wasn't the first. I think it was the second one. Like you could make an argument. I think LeBron, uh, should have won it, but I think twenty eleven though, and like it pains me as a Bulls fan to even have. <laughs> Are you, it took you me really, a long time you to really have think to admit that? it. I really think LeBron probably should have won it. Twenty, like looking back oh, on I it, cool with I, winning it. I, I was cool with it, but let's be real with it. Let's be real though. A lot of D Rose' reason is narrative: players missing games, having to carry the squad, hometown hero, first seed. You know, a lot of those things are team things. It's not just Derrick Rose things. And if you look at his numbers, I'm gonna keep it real with you: D Rose winning in 2011 would have been. D. Mitch won last year if he played the full season. That's what it kind of feels like, in my opinion. Like prime Derrick Rose feels like Don- Donovan Mitchell. Like like the level of player. Like and D. Mitch is a great player, but like let's be real, D. Rose kind of reminds me of Donovan. The bounce, the explosion, being that short, small shot chuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because Derrick Rose in his prime. People don't know this, but he was shot chucking a lot of. Th- hmm. He was taking them, you know. Now, granted, D-, D. Mitch is a better shooter, you know, but still, it, yeah. he does give me D- he does give me D. Mitch vibes. Um, but LeBron, you know, I do think Giannis he's gonna have that LeBron effect in the future. Like people are gonna look at his numbers and be like, "Damn, why wasn't he the MVP in some of these years?" <laughs> like e- even that first year, I know. Granted, they were like the eighth seed. But even that first year that they lost to Boston in the playoffs, he had some MVP numbers that year. Like he averaged like I want to say like twenty six and tw- ten or something like that, and like five twenty six ten and five. And we've become so accustomed to Giannis numbers, like we just expect twenty seven, twelve, and six. Like that that shit ain't normal. Like that shit is insane. Like we just expect that. I mean, Jokic is also doing very similar as Yo- well. Jokic too. Jokic too. Like we just expect. 13, seven. That's a, that's one crazy. for thirteen. Yo, THT oh. is literally the worst player in the league right now. Holy shit! Yeah, Taylor Horn Tucker is bad, bro. Oh, oh my gosh, is Isaiah is. Thomas is one for ten too. I expected that. I, I, I don't know why I'm acting like I'm surprised. Two for <laughs> two, bro. Two for twenty three, bro. They gave up on me, man. And people are gonna blame Westbrook's five turnovers for this game. Oh yeah, swear to God, yeah. <laughs> just, swear to God, bro. Melo's two for seven. It is one for ten. Taylor Horton Tucker is one for thirteen. I can't lie, Taylor Horton Tucker. This is the worst. This oh, I was it and Taylor Horton Tucker are competing for who can have the worst game. It's not even a debate right now. It's insane. Well, it finna throw up a brick. I can already tell. It's yeah. insane, but it is what it is. Um, I think that wraps up this. Yeah, that wraps it up. LeBron just yeah. stat pattern at this point. He got 34. <laughs> Get your stats. It's only, a, it's only a 12 point game, though. Get so your stats. I'm about to say, they, they can come back. They can come back. Well, LeBron uh, really has a hard carry at this age. And y'all are telling me he's not the GOAT, bro? Like, come on, dog. <laughs> he's 37. <laughs> he's 37. Bro. I'm 36. He actually does turn 37 in a week. Holy shit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, fuck. His birthday is like December. I think, it, I think it's 30th. I think it's the 30th, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's 30th. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, all right. Well, that concludes this episode. You guys make sure you drop subscribe. LeBron Hooping, man. Drop a like, subscribe, press that bell for post notifications. Um, y'all make sure you also leave us a nice review. I know we're missing our Vegeta of the uh, Vegeta. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> um, actually, let me not say Vegeta. Vegeta bitches. Uh, we're missing the Yamcha. <laughs> of the podcast um so if you guys enjoyed it make sure you give us a nice little review um but you guys y'all stay safe y'all got any closing words no man oh, yeah merry merry bro. christmas y'all y'all be safe this weekend oh man. yeah facts merry christmas i forgot holy shit forgot hey but we smooth that. yeah merry christmas oh yeah that shit is on saturday Merry christmas to everybody um we'll see y'all for new year's we'll be back before then yep. um but i was gonna say jay smooth but then I smooth forgot he can't say Weezy out of here. Yeah, bro. I don't know what the I guess. So just, just, so we just said God's gotta end it, bro. We just gotta end it. We'll see y'all niggas next week. All right, we out, man. Merry Christmas. <laughs>